Ladies, gentlemen, Teddy Bears, good morning. How are we doing? Hope we're all good, ladies, gentlemen, Teddy Bears, Tech on Speed Channel. Live here at RAF, Hobby Chair Weapons Range. Hope we're all good. Um, I was reluctant to start the start the stream. I'll be on in a sec, just one sec. I was reluctant to start, start the stream as it's typhoons. No disrespect, but they are usually quite high and they're using lasers, so we're just going to get noise. But no worries, I thought I'd start the show. I was going to do like a little test stream as well, actually, here. It's always good to do little tests here and there and now. Um, but yes, how we doing? Di -di 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 -di. Ted Coningsby channel. Let me get myself on the screen. I'm back. How's the hair? It's uh, not windy, look. You can always judge the wind by the hair. How we doing, ladies, shins and teddy bears? Ted Coningsby channel, live here, AKA <laughs> Mordor. How we doing? I hope you're all good. I hope you're all feeling well. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, the bone yesterday, the B1. Uh, I, I love that. When you spell B1, it spells bone, and then obviously two bones. But um, yeah, we do have typhoons coming and entering the range. We'll talk about the range. We'll, uh, we'll explain everything that goes on here, but... Uh, See what I mean? 16,000 feet, it's cloudy. We're just gonna get noise, but do you know what? It's all about starting the stream, keeping the dream, right? So we'll just enjoy the noise and have some fun. The cloud is certainly below 16,000 feet. Sadly, the typhoons use laser. I was actually not gonna start the stream yet, but do you know what? Let's just get it rolling. Any issues, we can always rectify them. And uh, hope we're all good. Uh, Tim Gooch, how you doing, Tim? Hope you're all good, always nice to, uh, Get on there. How are we doing? My name's Nick Oss. This is Apollo 41 Squadron, the test and evaluation squadron. 41 Squadron tend to be really high when they come in and use laser, so they are a test and evaluation squadron. Uh, their headquarters are actually at Waddington, even though their typhoons are based at RAF Coningsby. How are we all doing? My name's Nick Oss. I'm your commentator and your cameraman. And of course, you're here to see this guy, aren't you? Squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling? Hope you're all good. This is a active air weapons range, this is a place. We're just gonna hear noise, that's all. We're not gonna be able to see the typhoons. Uh, if we do, it'd be a miracle, maybe they'll just come down, I don't know. They're not armed, so, but they can use laser, they can use bombs, which we've seen. They can use cannons, they can use uh, rockets. Uh, this is a range of all aircraft, by the way. It's not just fast jet. We do have um, rotary aircraft as well. We can get Ospreys, Chinooks, Apaches, Wildcats, F-15s, F-35s as well to bring in the, uh, the other fast jets in. You can get Hawks, they can drop. Uh, ordnance as well. We, um, I've seen photos of this. I've never really. I'm just checking out the cloud base. So we'll talk about how it all works, what to do. Well, you know how to do. So 10,000 feet cloud base, and they're working at 16,000 feet. So we're 
Enjoy the noise. That's what we're here as well for. So yeah, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, how are we all doing? I hope you're all feeling good. And um, we're going to hear a lot of typhoon noise. This is an air weapons range. This is a place where we've seen things. We've had blowing up stuff. Uh, we've had rockets been fired. We've had the GBU-12s, which is a paveway too, dropped by the F-15s before. That was amazing. They can do show of force. They can use their cannons. They can use that M61 Vulcan cannon uh, from the F-16s. I've not heard it on the F-15s yet. Same cannon. Uh, so yeah, just to give you an idea. So there we go. Some food action for you, but. Sadly, it's going to be food noise. Um, let me just let me just sort out the TED cam quickly. Oi, oi! And uh, yeah, so how are we all doing? Right, so aircraft can't just enter the air weapons range. They just can't go. La 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 la. I'm going to fire away. It is all managed, controlled, and all safe. We've got Whole Beach Tower. How are we doing, Whole Beach Tower? Massive shout out to you. All right, let me just uh, sort TED out quickly. Getting all sorts of messages. So I need to keep my uh, my spanner flight. Big shout out to you. They give me all the signals, all their their uh, they're my offline working 24-7 a day. Right, so ladies shed to <laughs> Oh, descended to 10k, alright, that'll be good. That'll be good. We might see some typhoons. If I see one, I'll get you it. So yeah, aircraft can't just enter the range, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. There are, there is a tower that runs it. There are also quadrants, they're lookout posts as well. Everything's all done safely. And like I said, they can't just come in here like la la la. They have to check in with the range. You'll notice any aircraft that potentially is going to visit the range will squawk a code 7000 it's, it's a conspicuity code this is almost good especially when you're going low level as well in those areas because you think oh it might change it's it changes to 7000 to await a change uh, that's what i've noticed the aircraft how many there are will need to check in with tower they need to then say who they are what they're bringing as in ordnance what they're firing what they're using and how many pob it's really important for safety should things have an emergency at least they know who to look out for and how many persons were involved okay uh tau will then give them all the details uh if they require the whole beach weather um, they will then tell them all the information about the range, any voids, any hazards in the area, uh, such as gliders. Uh, they're the bicycles of the air, <laughs> of the air, as they say. I've had a pilot say that. The gliders are the uh, the, the cyclists. I don't know if that's bad for me to say, but that's how it is. All right, I'm just telling you how it is. Okay, little joke. Just take it as it is. Um, so the um, once it's all cleared, then uh, if Whole Beach are, uh, are happy for the aircraft to clear, fine. They will then tell the uh, aircraft to squawk 7002. That's what you've got to look out for. You may see uh, sometimes typhoons, for example, just using them as an example, not squawk a code 7002 and they're still using the range. This is because they are way up there. They don't need to squawk that code because they, they're above a certain danger area as um, altitude. So they don't have to squawk 7002. But the ones that are here using it that we can see the Chinooks and all that, they will squawk a code. Tower will tell the pilot and elements to squawk 7002. Once they enter the range, um, again, obviously the pilots and crew would have told Tower what ordnance they have and what they're firing. They have to declare what they're going to use. Sometimes as well, you may have heard what targets they're going to use as well. Target 9, target A, 1, 2, etc. I think there's 1 to 9 targets. They still can't just fire unless they've requested to use all the targets. They will need to be cleared. Now, what we're looking out for is hot. If a pilot says in hot, that's good for us. That means they're going to use real live ammo. So, but tower need to clear it. They need to go cleared hot. Okay. So pilot will say um, in hot. Tower will say clear hot. They have to say clear. They, they still need to be cleared if they're strafing and using dry. So pilot will go in dry and tower will say clear dry hope that makes sense i am also on the on the on the line here uh as in that sounds bad i'm on the line uh i'm on the boundary do not enter the range i'm going to show you the flags to indicate that this is an active range please never if if the range is active under no circumstances do you go onto the range 
under no circumstances please ladies gents teddy bears and also during holidays if you've got young ones even if you've got infants please under no circumstances do you let them out of, out of your sight they do use real bullets and real ammo here okay even if they're not a gbu 12 weighing god knows how many thousands of pounds will hurt you if it lands on your head regardless so again um, I'll show you all the boundaries, I'll show you, I mean it's a public footpath here, you're more than welcome to come here and view safely. There is a helipad, there's no um, uh, runway, um, and then um, obviously if you do go onto the range I'm sure they, uh, they will go and tell you. There are also um, barriers, like emergency barriers, please under no circumstances you block it. I'll show you where I'm parked as well, I'll show you all the parking, how to get to here. Also if you've got animals, four-legged friends. If there is clearly So there you go, ladies, shins of teddy bears. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've got uh, pets, like dogs, please. Um, I've seen this before, um, where it chased a hare all the way onto the range. We've, this was before I was doing live, and it's it's not good. Please, 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 if you can, don't do that. Uh, ladies, gents, Teddy Bears, how are we doing? Ted Connorsby channel, trying to keep things safe and clean. We do, uh, even if the range is not active, I do not strongly recommend, it is Mordor out there, I'm telling you, it is Mordor, with swamps, bogs, mosquitoes that don't even need, that, that are squawking 7002 out there, uh, and all sorts of uh, hazards out there, and of course, if you do come across, if you do want to go onto the range when it's not active, like a weekend, uh, if you come across any metal objects, just stay clear of it, please do not touch it, alright? that's got to do the housekeeping they you know i'm just trying to do my best to keep things sweet and neat thank you right what we got then typhoons uh, what you got for me how we doing how we doing hope you're all good so yeah um we have a bit of a wait till potentially our next aircraft but that's fine we're all good here we're all good and i hope you're all well and it's always a pleasure. Um, so yeah, sadly, like I said, I'm, I'm always reluctant to start a stream with Typhoons because, especially with 41 Squadron, they do a lot of laser work. I'm gonna show you all the targets. Uh, that's one of our favorites as well. Uh, I've got the TED cam here today. Uh, TED will run that. Um, yeah, just gonna go and uh, catch up with all of you. So a big shout out to all of you that's tuned in. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, you know, how's it all going? Hope you're all good. Hope you're all good. So yeah, we've got 41 squadron here. Hope you're all well. And we've got typhoons here. How's it all going? So a big shout out to everyone that's tuned in. Hope you're all good and well. So we are at the... Uh, Hair weapons, hair weapons range. <laughs> okay, we go. Right, big shout out to everyone that's tuned in. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, hopefully, later on, we'll have you uh, some more, well, some action that we can enjoy together with some live ammo. Uh, wind mild, it's nice for you there. But it's nice to have you on here. That's part of the. Uh, that's part of of our channel to meet and greet, as we say. Uh, Davy, how you doing? Oi, oi, Davy, Chris Bloxham, how you all doing? A very good morning to you, Rebecca. How's it all going? I hope you're all well. Gaza29, thanks for the weather report today. I have got your message. I just got to get back to. Uh, I will be getting your spanner flight patch in the post soon, my man. And I hope you had a very, very good birthday. Dawn Priestley, good morning. Spanner Flight crew, by the way, thank you for what you do and thanks for keeping it sweet and neat for us. Thank you so much. Uh, Dionysos, Sammy B, Christine Barnes, 
Dawn Priestley, oi oi, Tim Gooch, just got your message, I will read that later. And I hope you all enjoyed the B1s yesterday. Not long now for the uh, <laughs> the TED International Air Tattoo. I love that. That's awesome. So we are on our way to 34K. Can we do it today? I'm sure with Chinooks or any other aircraft that are actually going to use the range with uh, live ammo, it's going to be brilliant. So I'll just, uh, without further ado, I'll just uh, give you a tour of um, of the air weapons range. This tower, big shout out to everyone in tower. Oh yeah, keeping things sweet and neat. So there is a team in there, uh, one that controls the scoring, uh, one that checks in the bookings for aircraft and a um, ATC to uh, manage the radar and things and traffic in the area. There, there's the flag. There's lots of them dotted about for your convenience. So when you see these up, and also the light goes on as well for, for nighttime use. There's one of the quadrants that we said. The helipad, the HLZ, the HLZ. Uh, it's just, hang on. Oh, where that man is. I don't know what they're doing on the helipad. Are they gonna? Okay. another quadrant over there and again a flag as well for those interested in coming here there's uh, there's one of the parking spaces there is one further down you could park well two to three two definitely and three um, I haven't blocked the uh, emergency route, by the way. Uh, you can squeeze in two more cars, uh, smaller cars, definitely. And if you just go further down, you will be able to get loads of parking down in just a little couple of minute walk. So that's, uh, you're looking for Marsh Lane in Gedney Drove End, if you do want to come here. So yeah, sadly the typhoons are very, very high at the moment. So that's, uh, they're not for us. Sadly, we'll just have to enjoy the noise. As you may have heard, there's something coming about half past 12. Okay, so I've learned about this. Right, let's have a look. This is called, this is locally known as the donut. I'm gonna show you the targets as well. And I've got some guards marches to do as well. Oh yeah. Thank you very much everyone for all your support by the way. It's absolute magic. So this island you, you can see is known locally as the donut. It's the outer trial bank is one of two islands constructed during the 1970s for a government water resources scheme. The idea was to capture fresh water from River Witham, River Welland, the River Neen, the River uh, and the Great Ouse to build a freshwater reservoir. Today the donut is an important seabird colony. How cool is that? I think there's also, I never got, um, there's also a wash tide uh, gorge or gauge. I'm going to say gauge. So the, uh, the wash tide gauge is used for flood forecasting to track the process, the progress of coastal surges around UK waters and to provide a strategic overview of coastal conditions around the UK. Uh, in addition to the tide measuring equipment, the wash tide gauge uh, has instruments to measure wind speed and direction, air pressure and temperature, water quality and uh, salinity. Um, so I have come here once where the water was all the way up here. Food net. So yeah, this is uh, this is what I'm talking about. Mordor. It's not good. I'll just show you some of the some of the 
targets that we've got. It's one of my favourites. The shipwreck. There's the targets here as well. There are sea targets. There's a couple of barges, I think, put together there. You've got strafing targets. there and also this is normally destroyed by the uh, by the Chinooks and Wildcats and there are further targets further down there's another three I think another three targets uh, further down as well they're uh, yeah they're not always easy to get from here because they are quite it's quite a vast area this very vast So welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel, live here at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Place to blow up, to bring your aircraft, to blow up and shoot stuff. <laughs> Our famous quote, eh? Right, let's get these guards marches for you, because uh, you've all been absolutely generous and kind again this morning. Yeah, God's March to myself because Ted Ted and I have uh, gifted some Ted Coningsby memberships this morning and I hope you got them so that's the God's March to us Ted and we've also got the Norwegian Bear welcome to the TCS Posh Officers Club thank you very much oh yeah thank you and uh, Stu W welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron Stu God's March Karen Howard, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Lots of members coming in today. Thank you so much for joining us. We are on our way to 34K, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. It is possible to get it today. It's not impossible. Keith Gregory, morning, everyone. We are pack up. Uh, we've packed up car to come down to go Lake and for Quick Climb Friday tomorrow. Uh, we'll take a little break from the house. Hope it's coming along well, Keith. Keith Gregory, guards march. Thank you so much. Rebecca, 10 days until t -act party. Can't wait to meet everyone. Who's going? Guards March for Rebecca, our very own Spanner Flight Rebecca. Thank you very much. So we'll just enjoy the sounds of the foons right now. Kylo Bear, today is my adoption anniversary. Kylo Bear. Cool. Guards March for that. Guards March for Kylo Bear. Well, happy anniversary. Ted doing a little fly past there. Very good morning to everyone. Hope we're all good. Craig Bruce, uh, Graham McRobert, oi oi, how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. Hope you're all good and feeling good. So we just got a couple of hours uh, to wait for our next, or for at least something to come here and give us a bit of excitement.
Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, steady bears. So yeah, the uh, the noise you can hear are typhoons from 41 Squadron, of course, of Ted HQ. And uh, hope you're all good. So while we wait for something to actually use the range. Oh, hello, listen to this. Beautiful sound, isn't it? So yeah, well, while we'll wait, I'll just give you a little uh, brief history about the place. So um, you've got, uh, so out there is the wash. Oh yeah. I think they're talking about making some sort of causeway to link the two lands, the, the, the sort of like the edge points between Hunt Stanton and Skegness. That'll be interesting. But I, I wonder if, uh, as Gaz has, Gaz has mentioned, I wonder if they've, uh, They've actually realised that there is a, a air weapons range, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. So it was built in 1926, and it was originally associated with RAF uh, Sutton Bridge, but in the 1950s was named Royal Air Force Hull Beach uh, before adopting its current name in the mid 2000s when the control was passed to the defense training estate so they've been blowing up and shooting stuff since 1926 so it's had a lot of uh, bullets and bombs and aircraft go through here so yeah they are doing some work on the um, the, the uh, helipad so I'm wondering uh, how that's gonna affect any helis coming in today if there are like I said you just never know you just turn up hope for the best you just never know what's going to come here every day is a different day and unfortunately sometimes which we've had before that's it um, you, you will get no further traffic due to the fact that aircraft go tech that is as simple as that you can get bookings just coming in they'll have to clear that with uh, with tower of course they'll have to contact the uh, the ranger here It's a vast place. It is lovely. I've had some good memories here, and it's really nice on a summer's day as well. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention. So, from the um, from my van, uh, if you were okay. So, as a perspective, if you were to come out of my van just over there, if you hit a right or left, you can see the path. That is actually a public footpath. I'm not sure how far it goes. It goes on for quite a long way. So, lots of uh, the locals come to uh, go for walks or use it for cycling or bring their dogs go for a little walk it's quite nice nice fresh sort of marshy air <laughs> so what we got down here then now god who was there when the tower was uh, contacting this fishing boat to get them to sort of hello it's dangerous <laughs> But yeah, thanks everyone for your support. Don't forget to hit the like. Let's get the likes in now before it all goes hot. Well, I hope it does, because it's going to be good. Heavy metal call, thank you very much. Awesome. I'm just going to see what we've got. Okay, so that's all good. So, looks like we'll be here till about sort of seven o'clock tonight, I think. <laughs> well, let's have a look. I'm just having a look at the uh, what's the weather forecast doing. Hopefully, there's no rain. But it gives us a chance to. Uh, Catch up with everyone. Hope you're all good and well. So it could be a wet one today. everything ready for the rain. Might have to put the TED cam away for that actually.
So yeah, sadly this uh, not going to be anything till about 12. So I'm just getting ready for some of the rain that's probably going to come as well. So that's nice to hear typhoons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so how are we all doing? Hope we're all good. So like I said, welcome to Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. And like with many military danger zones and low-flying areas, and of course even with the base, when you're going to a military base there is a lot of waiting involved as well, so a lot of patience is required. So who's coming to the TED party then? Let's have a look, see what we got on as well. I hope we're all good, everyone. Um, so yeah, we might have a bit, a bit of a splashage of rain. So now we'll see how we get on. Okay. Uh, sadly, the typhoons that you can hear. Oh, nice one, Craig Bruce is going to be there. Sammy B. It's awesome when it snows. moment, no change. Broken, 10,000. 10,000 feet, but yeah, the typhoons are working up around 16,000 feet, but... Uh, your cloud base. Roger, overcast, 2,000. Right.
looking forward to the Ted party, ladies, shanks and teddy bears. So yeah, we've got uh, about 10 days now. So looking forward to that will be awesome. Absolutely can't wait for it. It's gonna be good. Right. But thanks a lot for everyone for your patience today because it does involve a lot of patience being at an air weapons range. But it can be really busy as we've seen before. It can be back to back. the Pilot 41 Squadron Apollo. Be nice if they did just come down. Homage Apollo 1-2. One, Apollo 1-2, request to enter the range, uh, 14 guy, uh, low angle strafe profiles. Oh, hello. Nine. Low angle strafes. Well, that's... Two, one, two, seven, That'll do. Well, that'll do. Sounds good to me. Entering from the south. And that's just behind us. So we're going to have to have a look. So we've got 4,000 feet. That'll do. We'll take that. You just never know. So they're entering the range. Here we go. All right, well, I've just got to find them. Give me a sec. to get for them to get lower yeah so even the even the child bears agreeing with that they got to get lower come on It'd be nice for them to get some strafes they've clearly had a few issues then with the with the cloud bases is uh I didn't see it, but it sounded amazing. Come on. Sure, I'll be able to track it for you. I mean, that sounded amazing, didn't it? You have to agree. Foons sound good. Foons play good tunes. teasing us here now. Where are you?
that's another one. Be nice if it was just right here in front of us though. We'll take that. So I guess it's probably out there into downwind. That was a sneaky typhoon, wasn't it? thing is because I can't actually it'd be nice if I could see it <laughs> first of all and I can track it for you and get a bit closer because not much wind today which is um, a lot of help very useful for me right let's have a look what we got what we got okay so it's just turning in come on Well, a bit of afterburner, a uh, bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of afterburners won't, uh, won't harm anything in a grey sky like this. See, every day, like I said, is different. It, you've got to be ready. Us, uh, got to be absolutely ready for anything. Yeah, they would, they didn't expect them to, to do this. So, again, so the typhoon's just into downwind, which is over here, and it's just going to appear out of nowhere over here. Come on. I just wish it was like in front of us though, to be honest. It's just sort of in between those power lines. Never seen that. Well, I've may have seen it a couple of times, but when they're doing loads of strafing, but... Okay, get ready. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah! Pretty cool. This is better than what I thought, actually, because I thought, well, we're not going to see anything, but come on, get us another one, get us another one, please, please, please. Just comes out of nowhere through there, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to guess through that bit there. It's a shame because it's sort of behind me, so I have to sort of spin that round, but no worries, no worries, we're good, we're good. So it's into downwind.
Um. That sound is just amazing. It's certainly good for the soul. <laughs> wow. I just re again, I know I keep saying I just wish they were doing it just uh, just here rather than where the power lines are. It'd be so much better for us, but hey, every day's different. Well, this is more like it. It's over here, yes. Okay, so now there's millions of these. There's millions of them. Foons in the wild. Let's get some more. No, I don't know where to look. The stomach came in front, which is good, that's what we want. more please
Beautiful sounds, right? Take another one. Ooh, listen to this. It sounds just sounds amazing. Foons do this. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I just love it. The the sound of those engines. Let's get another one. <laughs> See, the sad thing is, normally I'll be able to track it all the way. You've seen my work before, even tracking GVU-12s. But, you know, if I could actually see where it's coming, I can have it properly ready. But it could be anywhere out of here, man. All right, let's have a look. Just need a nice break in the cloud for just a, a millisecond. But, hey, here we go. Typhoon's out in the wild, baby. Yeah! Did someone say foon? <laughs> right, calm down, Nikos. Calm down. Ted's just looking at me thinking, what is going on? It's just that sound, isn't it? It's beautiful. Here we go. I think I'm still recording that bit. Oh well.
they do that to get in low, see, they, they, they almost do that sort of sharp angle turn, that turn out to get in lower, helps the Typhoon get into a lower altitude, so this could be good, could be getting a bit lower now. That was the best one yet. Lady Shed Steady Bears, I know you're watching, in awe, and uh, you've got to hit the like. Please hit the like, Lady Shed Steady Bears, support the channel, hit the like button quickly, because YouTube will recommend the stream, the more likes, we've seen it all the time. Yesterday was another example, when we got a thousand likes, we had like 1.5k watching, because the more likes a stream gets, then YouTube will recommend it. Recommendations mean more viewers, more viewers mean more subscribers. Here we go. Foonage in Dragon. Right, that's uh, Apollo done. Well, that was a bit of fun while we wait. That, that was awesome. entertain until we wait for whatever's coming at 12 o'clock beautiful So, uh, wow, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was absolutely mega. That was absolutely awesome, that, to see that. That was really good. Uh, considering the... Uh... Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was... Uh... Beautiful, and uh, just going to catch up with all of you on the streams right now. We are very close to 34k, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. Would be an absolute what a place to get 34k. Would be here. Um, that would be awesome if we can do that. We are very close to it, and um, and again, we couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much, all of those that have supported the channel through thick and thin. People reporting a wing wave. No, I'm not sure, but it could be. Uh, Margot, thank you very much. Boom, shake the room for the TCS party. Margot, thank you very much for that. Oh, bless you. 
That's so kind of you. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Ted's just going to come onto the show to uh, get his reaction. Oh, yeah, you're right, buddy. And uh, he's just. You're right, dude, yeah? Yeah, it's lovely. Did you get that picture of the 35 percent Yes, thanks for that. That was cool. Sorry, not the best video I've you know that. Yeah, no, I, I do appreciate it, man. Thanks. I love it. That's what I do and I'll enjoy it. Yeah. yeah no. Thanks for sending that, man. No, Cheers, buddy. Take care. Margot, thank you very much for that guards march for Margo Baxter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Ted's excited, man. Ted, did you enjoy that? Oh, Ted, that's a new one, a strafing. Ted's doing a high angle strafing. Beautiful, Ted. Uh, who else have we got? We've got some more guards marches to do. Uh, we've got a oh, lot. Oh, man, come on. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Heavy Metal Crone, thank you. Guards march for Heavy Metal Crone. Thank you so much. Uh, I've also got uh, Adam Verrill, member for four months. Thank you for joining us, four months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Thank you for your service. Uh, Paul M. Hennings, gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Thank you very much. Guys, March. And Margot Baxter, gifting five Ted Connorsby memberships. Thank you very much, Margot. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Ted's just ordering everyone to hit that like button. Thank you so much, Margot Baxter. Hope it's all good in Edinburgh. Right, let's uh, check something out. So our next movement, potentially, I think it was what, 12, 12.30? No, I, again, don't take that as right as rain. We just don't know if that aircraft goes tech. It ain't coming. We've got to remember that it is, it is what it is. And uh, So uh, that was pretty cool though, wasn't it? You have to admit, that was awesome. I'm gonna get prepared for the rain. Hoping it's not too much. Okay, it's best to be uh, best to be prepared, right? I'll be, ladies and gentlemen, bears. I'll be back in a tick. I've just got to go and grab something out of the van. All right, so. Um, just want to again thank you so much everyone just gonna i'm just being extra prepared for today because uh, i can't have the ted cam if it's raining due to the fact that i've got to manage the microphone if uh yeah it's hmm. I'll, I'll, let me have a little think about it i think i can do it the camera's waterproof I'm just um just having a look at this rain it's sort of coming around about 12 which is when our next aircraft is potentially coming uh keep a lookout so we just need to see what's coming. If it is going to be, I don't know, if it's an Apache, look out for sort of Wattisham, uh, Wattisham, sorry, um, heading sort of our direction. If it's an Osprey, again, it'll head straight here. Uh, if it's a Chinook, then remember the pattern like we said, uh, it will take off from Odium and go in a sort of, almost like a 45 degree angle. Not exactly, but do you know what I mean? It'll head for Milton Keynes. If it's going that way, and if you can almost draw a wiggly straight line, <laughs> Uh, towards Peterborough then you know it's coming from there again I don't have a clue what's coming here uh, if it's a typhoon well you know f-15 f-35 we just don't know um, on their patterns it will just come straight here um, if it's a typhoon we'll hear the radio go off and uh, so yeah just don't know what's coming but just enjoy it I'm not sure if it's gonna be a heli or at least it's not gonna probably land they're doing a bit of work on the helipad so not sure right ladies and teddy bears I'll be right back okay I'm just uh, gonna go and grab my tea and while we're waiting because it's coming up to uh, if our aircraft's coming at lunch sort of time um, looking forward to it but yeah again if you are planning to visit it is a Monday to Friday uh, please don't come in on the weekends uh, expecting aircraft um, I don't think they, no, it just doesn't happen. It's on the government website, the opening times. But just because the government website releases the times of the range doesn't mean 
you know it's going to be back to back there is another range don and Ook, but this is really this is my closest this is actually my closest apart from wittering this is actually my closest um military area for me this is the closer one um for me so uh only takes like 40 minutes for me to get here which is great yes and uh, very well known by the locals and I, I absolutely love love it here you know i could just be the official whole beach like you know broadcaster <laughs> i could just spend all my life here i do love it i'm gonna retire here i think i just love it i absolutely love the variety i love the people here the, the community um there is a country pub i don't know if there's any locals on here tuned in i'd love to support it i'm a, I'm a big fan of supporting local i'd love to try is it the sun uh, the rising sun that's just opened under new management uh, again love to support it because it ain't far i wonder if they do food i'll have to pop in later tonight see what it's uh what is it thursday yeah just to get a menu or something i do because you know times are difficult and it's always you know it's always the local businesses that do suffer sadly in my opinion and i'm not saying that the other the major companies i don't even know why i'm talking about this actually but hey uh love the way it goes but just always try our best to support local um, where possible, you know, it's just um, it's just awesome. So I'm a big fan of like handmade stuff as well, like Winchcombe pottery and Helena Bowen ceramics. Love all that sort of stuff. My house is full of pottery and things like that. I know. You probably imagine my house to have like planes in there or something. It actually does, but not real ones. <laughs> right, I will be literally five minutes. Give me give me a sec. I'll be back. Uh, I'll leave you with. What should we leave you with? Let's have a look. You can talk about this little target over here. Maybe something's going to happen over there or something. Oh, there's a boat. Maybe there's a boat. Right, I'll be right back, okay?
Are we doing Lady Shanta Teddy Bears? Oh yeah. Hope we're all good. Right, sorry about that. Just needed to uh, brew the tea. <laughs> Just get a few preps done. Um, I'm potentially gonna get the TED cam, but without the mic, and I can do some editing with the sound, don't worry. I'm gonna have it fixed on this, so I've got a funny feeling. We may have, let's have a look. Keep, keep a look out on the skies. We may have a Chinook, I'm not sure, but he, nevertheless, what I'll do, um, I think because of the cloud base, I can't see any aircraft doing any strafing, so my guess is probably a heli, but either way, Wildcat or Apache, I'm gonna focus on this and uh, hopefully get you some uh, shootage. <laughs> careful, Nikos, careful. Um, right, that's all good, that bit's sorted. Yeah, I might do that. I might, I might go and just focus that right on that target over there. That would be pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It, was, it is what it is. The cloud is, you know, we heard that, what, 1,800 feet or something like that, 2,000 feet broken, scattered all over the place. So, uh, yeah, we got what we got. Um, the pilot in the end did come in front of us, and we just made the most of it. Some nice shots and a gorgeous turnout as well, uh, which was fantastic really good stuff nice to see 41 squadron so 41 squadron the test and evaluation squadron they are although based at RAF Coningsby their headquarters are actually at uh, RAF Waddington for the uh, the I think it's the warfare can't remember the full name now uh, warfare headquarters perhaps something like that something like that <laughs> um, so yeah all good on that part we just need some uh, some more so something's coming in about an hour's time so, uh, yeah, less than an hour to an hour. Uh, yeah, I might go and do that. I might go and... But, yeah, thanks a lot. Listen, we're, we're so close to 34K now, uh, Lady Shen Steady Bear. So close. So it's... Um, just need your help. Promote it if you can, if you just tuned in. Um, again, we do like to mix it up. The air weapons range is one of our favourites. It is a gamble. There have been times we've come here, seen the typhoons like we just did, and then that was it. That was it for the day. Um, you know, it can happen. Sometimes it can be really, really busy, and others it can be just the odd one aircraft. But it's nice to get the aircraft doing what they do out in the wild because it's all very well going to a base which we do a lot uh, but it's nice to see what they do when they depart because that's all we do really when we go live at bases they just take off and land right do the odd low approach and um but yeah that's i mean in effect that is what we're getting um and it's nice to see what goes on after that it'd be nice to just stay with that aircraft all along right <laughs> well what's this here by the way, treat this bank as your limit, the flat bit, that's it, don't go any further by the way, just so you know. There are signs dotted around to say this is an air weapons range. What's this thing here? I can't believe, I don't know what that is. Yeah, just uh, again, like I said, always play safe when you come to these areas, it's, uh, it is what it is. It is an air weapons range, do you use live ammo? Mordor. <laughs> oh man, right, I am going to get... I'm going to get the TED cam. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get the TED cam ready. I don't mind that getting wet because apparently it's waterproof, so we'll find out. Uh, good thing is, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little tour of the TED cam and just to see what, what, what goes on. Good. And then what I'll do, give you a tour of the TED cam. 
who remembers that epic stream when um, the special forces come and grab Ted uh, with, with uh, coordination and help from our very good friend Adrian from Hull Beach Tower. Thanks a lot, Adrian. Big shout out to all of you in Tower. Leroy, uh, I don't know if Leroy's there, but uh, Adrian, Leroy, Andy, thank you very much. And everyone else with the Hull Beach team, thank you very much, Hull Beach Tower, for what you do. Because at the end of the day, you do keep everyone safe. Um, with the way you do it so and again special thank you for getting Ted and who, who who watched that show by the way when Ted got a flight in the uh, actually let's be more specific when Ted was with the gunner uh, with uh, the responsibility behind an M134 minigun <laughs> absolutely awesome yeah Ted had a good time right let's get this Ted cam on and I'll show you what it's all about And I'll tell you what it's all about. Right, let's set. Okay, so that's that bit there. I'm just going to sort out the tab cam arrangements here now. And then let's... Uh, Right, so that's the uh, TED cam ready should we need to use it. So this is the TED cam here. There it is, there's Ted's, uh, that's Ted's camera. That's uh, all ready to go. And Ted has locked on this target. So let me show you what Ted can see. Ted is like this. Ted's out like that. That's pretty much exactly what Ted can see through that lens is this. So while we're constantly, obviously we have to hope whatever aircraft is coming is using that target. I forgot the I forgot the um, forgot the target. By the way, just just to let you know, the distances is a, a long way. By the way, um, th from what we're seeing. So you know the boat that's out there, it is actually very deceivingly far, 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 far away. So I'm just trying to have a look at the targets now. So if I, so that, that there, it's about, was it three and a half kilometers away? Yeah, about 3,820 meters from here. Just to give you an idea of how far that is. Uh, those measurements are from the tower, but we are in line with tower, so it's not gonna be completely far out. So we're looking at 3.8 kilometers, that, that bar, that, this, these targets here, and target eight. Like I said, 3.8 kilometers, roughly. And that's um, from tower. But obviously, because we are almost level with tower, it's not gonna be far out. So that's, that's, that's a good bit of mileage, that.
Uh, Karen Novak, the stream was epic. I watched it live. Paul Heisman, priceless. It was such a special stream, that. It was, uh, Davey says that one was epic night. Uh, Mayhem Marshy, good morning to you. Oi, oi. Margot Baxter, Gazza29, how you all doing, Rebecca? Oi, oi. Uh, Stu Martin, Odium's uh, Special Forces taking Ted on a shooting trip. Yep, I watched that unfold, that PM. It was amazing, wasn't it? Rebecca, Sharon Smart. Definitely well done, Rebecca, for saying that. Massive, massive Ted hugs to Sharon Smart and the family. Hope you're well, Sharon. Margot, legend, working on the... Uh, parts of the tornado amazing thermal imaging laser designator pod developed by Ferranti and Marconi yeah man awesome right let's sort out that make sure the TED cam is ready to go when we need it right so that's that TED cam's ready I'm just turning it off uh, let's have a look IS on yeah so I'm going to um yeah, I'm going to use it without the mic, because obviously that mic, it just gets a bit soggy. No one wants a soggy mic. Um, I don't know how, how family-friendly that sounded, but... Uh, okay. Alright, so... Let's have a look at the sky, see what we got on ADSB. Do we have... I mean, like I said, I don't really know what's coming, but do we have a Chinook coming? Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. So, we're looking for... If it is going to be a Chinook, that one I can answer. Um... Yep, there we go. I think I think that's our one. Mind you, it's take it. Where's it? I think there's a bit of a radar glitch on this. Uh, you've got Vortex 486. That could be it. If it goes up to Milton Keynes, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, Vortex 486. That's our Chinook. If it is going to be that one. Um, Yeah, uh, what else we got? Uh, no to the Apache. That's out by Claire. <laughs> it's near Claire. It's spelt differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep an eye out on that Chinook. Uh, just sort of north of Reading. And if it goes, if it, if it ends up at over Milton, Mil Milton Keynes, then that's our one. Get ready. Right, it's time for some teage. Nick Ward, I blame you for adding the AGE, for adding age on the end of everything. <laughs> oh dear. Right, time for some tea. Yes, yes, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, we'll probably get the other bears on as well. We've got we've got them here. They're all here today, actually. I'm not sure if Red Ted's here, because I think he's flying today with the Red Arrows. And uh, if you just tuned in, welcome. Don't forget to hit the like on the way. Give the like a touch and go. Uh, give it a... Uh, you're cleared hot. Yes, that's the way I'll say it today. So, ladies, gents, steady bears, if you just tuned in, then uh, you're cleared hot on the uh, like button. And, of course, make sure you give the subscribe button a strafe that's it if you haven't done so already of course our uh, existing subscribers thank you so much look at where we are who who joined us when we just had a couple of thousand literally that you can count them on your fingers on your hand sorry i mean wow who remembers that journey look at where we look how far you should all be i, I hope you know, I want you all to be proud of what we do at the TCS. We're just such a, you know, we're such a fun community. And, and we do a lot more than just streaming. We've always said that. And I've always said that. Mordor. Um, we do um, a lot of uh, things for charity. As you know, £14,000 of military uh, charities. How good is that? It is so, I'm so proud of all of you. Really, really am. Thank you for all that you've done for us. I'm proud of our armed forces as well, and of course Air Force, due to the fact of uh, of what they've done for us. Val I've got, I can't wait. Soon I will be getting the Valkyrie Squadron print frame and Ted certificate. So Ted flew in two zero five six zero zero. By the way, for those interested. Oh yes. 
And that's the F35A and Ted got a, a beautiful, beautiful certificate which I will be getting framed. Yep, so there's our Chinook looking good. Vortex 486, possibly that one, possibly. Like I said, if it goes to Milton Keynes and it starts heading for Peterborough, that could be us. Five hundred and thirty of my fans watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Was it salmon? You called it. Uh, Craig Bruce as I did, you had about 3,000 when I first started watching. Nice one. Yes, we're going to re reminisce. Rebecca, say maybe, say maybe 2,000 subs at the time. Teresa Cook, how you doing? Emma Pelham, how you doing? Good morning to you. Uh, Mr. Chicken, my man from Germany, how you going, man? Uh, when I found this channel, it was 4,000 subs. Yeah, so Ted's F35 pull is uh, 205600. Um, January 2023 TCS had 6K subscribers. We are now about to hit 34K. Margot says 35 by Christmas. I hope so. It sounds a lot. I hope we can. That'll be a good dream. I've got so many exciting things to come up for you for next year. You, you're going to love it like I normally do. I've got a lot of letters to write and uh, hopefully they'll pay off some really exciting stuff. You're going to love it. And um, yeah, just get ready. Let's have a look at this. Uh, I think that needs to go, doesn't it? Does that not need to go? I don't know. So yeah, just keep a look out on that Chinook Vortex 4, well, I can't remember what I said now, Vortex 486 or, did I say Vortex 486? <laughs> uh, yeah, Vortex 486, how's it going? Uh, all right, just coming up to Aylesbury, heading for Milton Keynes has predicted, but we need it to not turn left or right. Um, it's then gonna, it's then gonna um, head for Peterborough. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get this Chinook. Like I said, um, just keep an eye on it. Vortex 486.
That's one of the targets there. Yeah, exciting times, exciting times. So hopefully we get a Chinook. Um, how are the boys doing over here? doing I can't I can't well if a Chinook is coming out where's it gonna land hmm interesting yeah, good old Ted cam there so yeah basically Ted's uh, we'll give you a tour uh, hopefully it works out so that's Ted like I said Ted's uh, Ted loves that and it's uh, a static camera just so while I'm like you know getting the movements of the aircraft I can go wide as well um, but if, if I'm gonna guess it's probably a Chinook I'm not sure but I can always change lens I've got a wide angle lens and this zoom at 600 mil uh, which is equivalent to 1200 on oh, gotta work this out let me just have a quick look it's been a while since I've actually done photography let's have a look what we got on there Oh yeah, so yeah, sorry, 600 mil. It's a, uh, hello. <laughs> so I'll just walk in front of it. Yeah, it's a 600 mil uh, equivalent, because it's a micro four thirds, so you have to times it by two. So yeah, it's uh, a uh, 600 mil for those interested. Uh, fixed at, at uh, what we got, uh, F4. For those that know what I'm talking about, F4, 600 mil. And uh, it's, uh, and it, I can tell you exactly what it would look like. It would look exactly from that lens like this. Like that. That's how it's going to look. That, that's exactly because this, the zoom on here, I believe it's about 600 mil on my camcorder. So, yeah. So that'll be exactly that. So yeah, keep a look out on Vortex 486. If it's uh, Milton Keynes to Peterborough, then we're almost good to go. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, go tech or anything on the way. But yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about the helipad. Unless they're not on the helipad, but it does look like it. That's just going to land in the car park. But the uh, cars are still there. Right. You're right there now. How are we doing round here? This is my type of place round here. Out in the wild. That's how I like it. My name's Reggie. How you doing? I'm all good round here now. Air weapons ranges. Really exciting. But you got to be careful round here if you're civilian. No civilians round here. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Sometimes you'll see me and the boys and girls doing what's called JTAX. That's right basically sending coordinates from our radio oh, well, our air controllers that's right send coordinates for the aircraft sort the situation there now and yeah, there were pretty little planes up in the sky a bit high there now wouldn't they a bit shy up there wouldn't they but they did come down there now quite low it was a pretty little plane wasn't it was it a typhoon <sighs> part of the RAF regiment me that's why I don't do any of this flying business round here no 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 I got to keep my feet firmly on the ground I mean, don't get me wrong, if I need to get that A to B up, you know, island to island, yeah, I'm quite happy to jump out of a C-130. No problem with that there now. But I don't do any of that flying business there now. That's right. Hey, what's your fella? How you doing? All right there now, Drew. How you doing? I'm all right there, buddy. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, my name's Grand Crew Drew. How you doing? Just thought I'd pop over, see what's going on. Just uh, serviced a few typhoons. Just giving them all the, all the checks. From Conning's beer, just thought I'd nip over, see how it's all going. Reggie, what are you doing round here? Oh, I like to see this sort of thing. All exciting round here. Watching 
aircraft blowing up and shooting stuff. Oh, right, that's nice to own, isn't it? Yeah, I've um, not actually been to, uh, don't really spend a lot of time out on the air weapons ranges. I'm normally arming the, uh, arming the aircraft, and then, uh, yeah, I don't really get to see them uh, do all this. Quite nice and exciting around here. Hope you're all safe and well. My name's Drew. Full name, Ground Crew Drew. That's right. Not a lot of people know about us. That's right, because I'm Ground Crew. They break it, we fix it. Sometimes they bend it, we mend it, that kind of thing. Oh, I like what you do. Sounds like what we do with our weapons. Sometimes our weapons get a little bit in a muddle. You know, gonna have to go and sort that out there and all. Yeah, pretty much, that's right. Pretty much. So what are you doing around here? It's a bit, it's a bit Stevie Bold around here, isn't it? What did you say? Stevie Bold, cold. Why don't you just say cold? Ah, uh, you know, that's why I say things. Just try and keep it all rhyming, smiling, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, well, yeah, it's a bit cold there now, yes. That's right there now. Yeah, current bun's gone. Oh, I know this one. That's the sun, right? Yeah, that's right. Nice one, Eggies. Nice one. You're a good lad, ain't you? Yeah. But yes, yeah, uh, not not very more and Mindy today. Nice and calm. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good round here now. That's how we do it round here. Yeah. Got any holidays planned for next year? Oh, yeah, me and the wife, we're going to Cyprus there now. Gonna relax on the old beach. Yeah, do a bit of swimming, a bit of tourist stuff, you know what it is. Yeah, that sounds good, yeah, I like Cyprus as well. Yeah, I was at Akrotiri at one point. Oh, so was I there and all, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Oh, we were busy them days, weren't we? Yeah, that was it, there and all. Yeah, it's quite good. So yeah, I think you've got a Chinook there uh, coming there, Nikos. Are you wearing that? Yes, mate, yes, Drew, yeah, pretty much, mate. I'm just uh, looking out for it. Yeah, I think it's something like Vortex 486, but I don't know, you know, you know what you're doing, I don't know. It just seems to be heading this way. Yeah, you know, nice to see the alleys, it's quite nice. Yeah, don't really get to work on them as much, being at Coningsby. But sometimes we get the odd one landing here, born in a bit of a refuel. Yeah, they're quite good. I'd like to go in one of them, start shooting stuff, don't know. I know our uh, squadron leader had a go with uh, Seven Squadron. He's a lucky boy, isn't he? Yeah, that was a really proud moment for all of us at the TCS. That was really good. Yeah. Well, where have you parked your uh, jam jar? My what? Your jam jar. You know, you did drive here, right? You mean car? Yeah, jam jar. Well, why don't you just say car? Well, you know, that's the way I say things. You're a funny fella, aren't you? Ah, oh, you do make me laugh there now. You just say things in a funny way there now. But that's fine, because we're all brothers and sisters together. Yeah, there you go, mate. Nice one. Right, listen. I think there's a sweet shop in the next village. Do you need anything? No, 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 no. Just get me some chucking. Um, I think they said just sell sweets. No, I want chucking. Oh, all right, I, I can probably go to the... Actually, there is a... I think there's some sort of, like, uh, surf filling station somewhere. I think they got chucking. Yeah, I want some chucking. I want all chucking. Uh, any type of chucking? No, no, just all of it. I want all chucking. I want some silkies. I want them. All right, OK. I'll just uh, go and have a look, see what's on the menu for uh, for Reggie. Yeah, I love me old chucking. Chucking anything. Stick on a stick and I don't mind. I'll eat it. Oh, no. Right, OK. No worries. Well, I'm going to go and get some flying saucers. I love me flying saucers. And do you love chucking? Yeah, chucking. All of it. Ah, it's good for you. Good for the brain. <laughs> well, whatever you say there, uh, whatever you say there, Reggie. Well, listen, Reggie, you mind how you go. Right, I'm off to the sweet shop and I'll go and stop by the shop and go and get you some chucking. Yeah, you do that. Good lad there now. Yeah, mind how you go. See you later, everyone. Catch you later, alligator. And don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe to the Ted Connysby channel. Thanks very much. Good to see you. Yeah, he's a funny guy. I like that guy. Really funny. Sometimes I don't understand what he's saying when we're now. Sometimes I just don't know what he's saying. Yeah. I don't mind her now. So we do it. Arr! Right. I'm gonna go and get settled down. Go and do some perimeter checks. And uh, hopefully Drew get me some chicken. Right. Mine ain't go hit the like button. <laughs> Right, how we, how's Vortex going? Is it that one coming? Is it 486? Let's have a look. Let's have a look here now. Um, <laughs> let's have a look here now. Well, it's looking good. Sort of looking good. We just need it to aim, unless it's coming. Oh no, don't you dare turn to Cambridge. Nothing wrong with Cambridge, just not today.
So hopefully we'll start to hear the walker. Um, yeah, maybe it's not going to land. Maybe it's going to come here and then just go to Coningsby or Lake Heath, depending on what, what it's doing. But how's it going to land with those guys on there? But yet, yeah, still on target. I still. Oh, oh, what's it doing? It's doing some funny stuff. Tell you what, that ADSB cracks me up when you've got a typhoon, right, backwards. I love that. It just cracks me up. Because I, I, I remember looking at it and I was thinking, that's going to be one hell of a landing. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so yeah, just keep an eye on it. If it's sort of to the east of Peterborough and still heading our way, then we're looking good. And um, actually, that's interesting that you said that Norwegian bear because out over there is, I believe it's Norway and Denmark. Let's see if I can see the. Um, where those uh, where, where are the. Um, sorry, talking and not saying much. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I'm looking for the uh, wind farm. There they are. Yeah, out there, isn't it Norway and Denmark? And um, have, have I got that right? If we're looking at it like that. Yeah, it is. Denmark and Norway. And I think if... Uh, I don't know how... Well, I know Netherlands is, is over there. Um, obviously not that land there, but you've got the, the, um, the edge of... Um, I nearly said Akrotiri there. <laughs> There you go, the only time in the world, live, where I've compared Hans Stanton to Akrotiri, but no, um, just sort of that direction, just over that land, would be Netherlands, and of course, uh, over this side, you've got Denmark, and then over here, like I said, I believe you've got, yeah, nice one, Norwegian bear, nice one for pointing that out. Hi guys, I'm Nikos from the Ted Coningsby crew! Oh yeah! We want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, as far as Lozzy Mouth and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centres and special flights for Ted too. We could not do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. So we have an exclusive membership so that you can join the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We have one level of membership so that every one of you can enjoy it and that no one is left behind. We have exclusive perks for our members too to enjoy such as members only videos which include deleted scenes, music videos, behind the scenes footage and more. Members can take part in members only polls, there will also be discounts for our members too on our merchandise and you'll also get your own emojis and special member badges next to your name too. All you have to do is click the join button and all this for just £1.99 a month. Your membership will help fund our channel to get us around the country and for this just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has joined already. Aww yeah. Remember
Looking good. Looking good for that Chinook. Yeah, it's looking good. So what we'll hear next is the whole process with the checking in, hopefully. So you can see that it's um, squawking the conspicuity code, which I said is always a good indication that it's potentially coming here. So the conspicuity code is a squawk code that will basically mean that it's, it's going to change intentions. So because we're near a range, it could change to 7002. That's what we want. Now, for those interested, 7001 is the squawk code for low level. Uh, for those interested, and of course, we got the, the emergency, general emergency squawk code, 7700 as well. 7600 is the radio communications failure squawk code. Squawk codes are a way of, I mean, there's a lot more to than just saying this, but squawk codes, and why do we need to know them as aviation enthusiasts? It lets us know what's going on. Squawk codes basically um, allow, actually, the whole process um, for us as well. It allows us to, to know what, what the aircraft is doing or what, what, what it's, uh, what it, yeah, literally what it's doing. But the whole process involves a transponder and uh, the secondary surveillance radar. Uh, it's, if you Google a, an SSR, secondary surveillance radar, it's got a very distinctive shape to it. It's almost like a, a very thin rectangular radar with almost like four aerials on each corner of, each corner of it as it spins. Um, and the whole thing for that is, uh, I'll tell you why this is linked with squawk codes, is because a pilot, um, well, first of all, what is a transponder? Well. It's um, almost like a dial in the cockpit of any aircraft, and it only has numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It doesn't have an 8 or a 9. Now, the, again, transponder tra is a two, is two words in that, transmit and respond, okay? So what happens, you'll hear tower asking, again, you'll hear tower here, not just any airport. You'll hear tower telling the pilot to key in 7002, for example. And what happens, once the pilot hits that, that will transmit to the SSR and it will beam back. And that, my friends, ladies, gents, steady bears, is what makes an aircraft appear on a radar. Okay, so the, tran uh, the transponder's keyed in and it will ping it back to the uh, SSR, ping back to the aircraft and it will show up on radar. Okay, and that's why it's very important to have squawk codes because it will pop up on the radar and it will tell radar and anyone on surveillance uh, what how fast the aircraft is going altitude uh, type of aircraft call sign speed that kind of thing so it's really important so this is why there's a miss uh, there's a, when people use flight radar and ADSB and aircraft don't show up it's not because the transponder's not on. By the way, all aircraft legally have to have their transponders on. It's not because the transponder's off. If you imagine an aircraft having the transponders off, that is invisible, which means danger to life in the skies. If you look at your ADSB and see it, <laughs> and see it, it will, um, it will basically cause a hazard and a danger. You all right, man? Hello, mate. You all right? Yes, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, no, you're not live streaming at a long time. I am. Thank you. 
Sorry about that. So yeah, just a quick recap then. Uh, like I said, it's um, aircraft have to have their transponders on. It's got nothing to do with the aircraft not showing up on ADS-B because of the transponder. Um, like I said, um, ha failing to have... If you switch, if, if, if an aircraft right now turns off their transponder, it will in initiate a QRA, literally. So say you've got an EasyJet. Sorry, EasyJet, I'm just picking on you. Just, just the first thing popped up to my head. If an EasyJet aircraft just suddenly just switched off their transponder, it, it well, it will disappear off the screens and uh, there'll be problems. So uh, what you get from that is um, a QRA potential because if you imagine how many aircraft are in that sky right now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as I, oh my days, right, so as you know, they're doing work on the helipad, right, um, so, so the Chinook is landing in the car park. <laughs> so they're, yep, yeah, so yeah, as predicted, so they are moving. The, the personnel moving the um, I won't get too close to their cars uh, they're moving their cars off the car park but it can happen by the way usually if you see the another indication if you see the the, the, the guys uh, the personnel uh, cars not parked in the car park then it's most likely you get Chinooks and Wildcats land in there I've never seen a Chinook land in the car park so this is, I've seen a Wildcat land in the car park this is going to be epic So they've just moved their cars. This is going to be quite fun. I might need to secure some bits. Hang on. <laughs> I was not expecting that. There's all. I mean, you plan for stuff, but my goodness me, this is. Um, might need to add a bit of weightage to some of the some of the equipment. This is going to be hilarious because I've experienced turbulence from a Chinook and uh, it's, yeah this is going to be hilarious Brace yourselves, ladies, gentle teddy bears. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I was not expecting this, man. Okay. 
Uh, some of your gifts that you'll send. Oh, my, that's hilarious. Right. Uh, yeah, brace yourself. I think I'm going to be all right. Uh... Yeah, Vortex 486. Here we go. It's landing in the car park. I believe you're trying to contact me. Transmissions are all breaking up. Continue inbound. Range code. We have two nine kilometers, nil weather, cloud broken, two thousand feet, color code white, surface wind calm, and you'll be uh, parking on the air traffic control car park adjacent to the control tower. <laughs> Okay. Right, so we... Transmissions are still breaking up. I can just see you coming onto the 360 radar now. Possibly 10 more miles and we'll get good to Well, you heard it. So they're landing in the car park. Um, I've experienced... I think we'll be all right. <laughs> this is going to be brilliant. Um, yeah, I've experienced turbulence before. Um, where the cars are, so I'm not that close. It should be all right. Um, this could be fun. <laughs> it's going to be pretty bad. Right, so we just need to hang on. Enjoy. It's going to land right there, so it's going to be some good shots. Uh, Ted, better get Ted all get ready for this. Uh, get the Ted cam on, and uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. Uh, my word. Here we go. Get ready for this, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I shouldn't do that, I don't want to curse it, man. Ooh. Mayhem Marsh, you got your message. Doing it now, mate. Doing it now, actually. <laughs> I am doing this right now. Um, I might bring up the wagon actually to hold, hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not even joking, I've experienced turbulence here before, man. Um, yeah, that, that's just gonna go, isn't it? Oh my God. Right, no worries. I just, uh, yeah, this is gonna be hilarious. Oh my goodness me, it's, uh... <laughs> I'm not even joking, I've experienced turbulence on a Chinook and I think I'm a bit further than what I used to be. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about to do that, man. Um, <laughs> this is going to be... It's just for the landing, I think what I could do, I might hold... I mean, the car park is just there. Right, I'm going to move that chair out of the way. Let me get the chair out. <laughs> oh my word. Um, I might need to just uh, lay down that TED cam. Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm just thinking of ways to just, just get everything down. It might not be so bad. It depends which one it is, because some are worse than others. Oh my word. TED, what, what, what is going on?
It's about 10 miles out now, ladies, gents. Get ready for this. Oh, wow. Get ready. Right, start hitting that like for a walker, walker. We're about to get a land. Thanks, Chris. I got all your messages. Thank you very much. All done. It looks like it should be just behind us. This is going to come in low, isn't it? Get ready, mate. <laughs> Here we go. It's just to our right. Brace yourselves, this is going to be... <laughs> Barriers down. Drive off behind me.
Hello. I mean, that's some skill though, right? Just to park it in a car park. That is amazing. Right, just uh, give me one second. I am going to hit the TED cam. Get that target ready. It's only a guess that they're going to use that target. Okay, TED cam is now running and it's got a good hour on that. So let's see if we can get some uh, 
get some target shots on that. Right, now I can concentrate on just the Chinook. All right, I think it's time to say it one more time. <laughs> hit that like, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. You can tell there's not much wind there. Uh, please hit the like, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Come on, support the channel. This will get YouTube going, this will. Usually fires around between sort of three and 4,000 rounds. It's got a, a nice punchy M60D on the back of the Chinook along with two M134 miniguns. Is that a puff of smoke? Hmm. So it has to get clearance on firing.
in a minute. Go walk up. Have a little gamble. Take a little gamble, see what happens. Yeah, it wasn't that target. Is that target too, anyway? See, target two is there's a barge just behind the tower, I think it is.
look at this. Certainly got you a lovely variety this week, haven't we? Start off with Typhoons, just the two. F-35s, F-15E Strike Eagles. Two Alpha Jets. A B-1B. A U-2. Boeing 747. Another Typhoon today and a Chinook. Great variety from the Ted Cogsby channel. Oh, oh, and a C-17 departure, and what else have we got? And a Chinook landing at Lake Neath as well. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it round here and all. See, uh, so this is, um, for those that don't know, this has come from RAF Odium. amazes me the delay.
beautiful turn there. You can see the wind's picked up now, look. Oh, that's target two over there.
how we're doing ladies and gents teddy bears hope you're enjoying it ted cotton speed channel live here at hull beach air weapons range a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff and we have a chinook from rf odium oh yeah firing live rounds The Chinooks can spend a good hour here, by the way. Well, here we go. So yeah, they'll be firing 7.62 rounds. And they do come at night and they use tracers. channel don't forget to hit the like button ladies and gentlemen teddy bears and of course help us get to that 34k all you need to do is subscribe they're all free the like and the subscribe button and of course um, you can also hit the notification bell button where you'll be notified of our latest and greatest live streams and videos we try to stream five days a week weather permitting So they spend a good hour here and uh, depending if it's a, uh, a joint squadron where you have two squadrons they can uh, change armourers and change squadron and just take it in turns so hit the range you can take the Chinook anywhere in any theatre jungle desert everywhere
punchy M60D. Beautiful. Ted Connors B Channel live here at RAF Hog Beach Air Weapons Range. Bringing the exclusive military aviation wherever it'll me, wherever it'll be, wherever it may be. I do like that with the trees. Setting the scene. Just about got that. Feeling it was that one, right? Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can uh, get that sorted. Well, the TED cam has been on a different target, but you never know.
interesting. Take a pot shot. There we go. See if it takes a good shot of this. I think this is the one. Oh! Say what? So what I'll do, right? Let me just get that TED cam on there. Since that is target two. Right. Oh, 
Right, so that's target two. Right, sorted. Got it. good that you can get to uh, see the uh, impact shots as well actually which is really good I'm happy about that I know even if I got them on the TED cam it'd be nice for you to see the uh, the target being hit there that's that was good get to see the live ammo and we're doing ladies gents teddy bears hope you're all good hope you'll enjoy the show finally got the uh, we're all set on that nice one Ted so we'll blame me for that one so I'm sure the pilot said uh, target two, so. Changing the target now. <laughs> I just got it on there. Well, that's copied and uh, an update for you. On completion of this part of the sorting, the HOS is now available. I'll copy, thank you very much. So I've just, uh, <laughs> isn't that funny? I've just literally just um, just had that target set. Now it's going back to the one I had it on. Oh well, that's fine. Right, let's get back into the action. North and south, they said. Let's find out where target six north and south is. HLZ is available now, so they will be parking on the, uh, or landing, shall I say. <laughs> wow.
Let's have a look if it's this one. shooting all the way down there, it's amazing. Goodness me. What a sound. God, it's miles, miles away, man. Nice old terminal colours.
what a sound. HLZ or HLS.
Ooh, yeah. See you in the evening. So if you hear squawk code 04, it's heading for Lake Neath, by the way. That's uh, the start of Lake Neath's um, squawk codes. Um, always good. I think Coningsby, I think it's uh, it's got seven on it. Uh, zero 07, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, how are we doing? Hope you enjoyed that. That was nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed that. That was a good bit of fun, that wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Actually, I did that a little bit wrong. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this. Like. <laughs> I think that's the one, isn't it? I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Right. I think it's time for a cup of tea. I'm absolutely frozen to death, man. Um, let's have a look at her now. Yeah, it's time to have a bit of a bite now while I can. Uh, I'll try and gonna try and get some warmth in me as well. It's absolutely freezing. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen, and have a cup of tea. Pretty good. Yeah, gonna get some uh, nice warm tea there now. How are we doing? Hope you enjoyed that. Nice. Always good to see the Chinook here at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Don't think it would be the same without it, would it? Hey. Eh? So yeah. All is good. So we should expect that later on today. I'm gonna find out roughly when. Any time, sort of between, sort of. Five and six o'clock is my guess. But yeah, gonna grab a quick cup of tea. How did you enjoy that? I hope everyone enjoyed that one. Uh, some of the targets caught me out there. Um, I also need to revise my targets, but oh well. Yeah, man. Ah. But I should have some on the TED camp, no doubt. So we are looking forward to quick climb Friday tomorrow. Will be good fun that, as usual. Right, and then I'm gonna go and have uh, 
Bit of snackage. Mm -mm. Oh, that's better. My tea in the cold is good. It's good for you. Whew. And I'll uh, see how we're all doing. How are we all doing? Davey, Rebecca, how's it all going? Hope you're all good. Hope you're all enjoying the show. Got lots of uh, personal messages, inbox getting full with people enjoying that. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, pretty good fun that. Right, let's see who we got on the chat staring out. Davey, how you doing man? Tiffinage, yeah definitely. I'll just quickly, uh, let's have a look. Uh, Mickey, awesome show Nikos, thank you very much. David Wolfman Wells, enjoying the Walker action. Oh yes. Uh, Meth, how you doing? Sharon Smart, hope you're well, hope you're good. Stu Martin. How's it going? <laughs> oh, that's better. Tea is good. All right, let me just... Uh... Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was good. Woo, it's certainly a fresh one. Absolutely. All right, let's catch up with all of you. See how we all do an LEJ approach. How you doing, man? Davey, oi, oi. Uh, let's have a look who we also got on there now. Sam Fuller, how's it going? Christine Barnes, how's it going? Uh, River Grace, how's it all going? Hope you're good. What else have we got on there? Johnny B, how you doing? Stephen Corley, how you doing? Watching from uh, Jersey. Meth, how's it going? Christopher Carr, come back and join the gang. Don't shoot all day <laughs> right down there. Oh man, hope you're all good. Can hear a chucking. Yeah, there's uh, lots of chucking around here. Probably Reggie's trying to catch it. Mr. Speaking of chucking, how you doing, Mr. Chicken? Three zero one zero. How you doing? Chris Blocks, how's it going? Stu Martin, Christine Barnes, Doctor Soda, how's it going? Hope you're good. Yeah, some of those, uh, some of those um, targets were hit from quite altitude. The Chinook was definitely up there uh, and low as well, but I was impressed with that. I need to do some research on my, uh, my seven. Yeah, I know seven thousand five hundred rounds. I've I didn't even know they could do that, but obviously they, if they take it on board, it's fine. Absolutely amazing. More rounds, please. A ton of ammo. Reverse park. Chris blocks them. Uh, loving the seven thousand five hundred rounds. Take it, Andy Williams, how's it going? Steve Corley, well thanks Nick Ted and everyone on Spanner Flight for my lunch entertainment. You're, you're doing quite well for your lunch break, man. Dawn Priestley, umbrella time, raining in Hull Beach. Is it? Oh no, is it? Oh yeah, I can see it actually. Yeah, I can see it. And that's fine. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let me just, uh, should, I should have everything ready for the rain. Um, 
Well, I'm glad it, it did that then, so. <laughs> I just need to move just something quickly, hang on. But I'm gonna go and grab a bite. And sadly, I'm gonna leave you to it for a little bit. I might even just run to the van and just keep. I was thinking that, maybe it's a shame because I can't chat to you then. Hang on, let's work some it out. Right, first of all, first things first, let's protect the gear. That's, uh, that's a priority, we can do that. That was pretty cool, that wasn't it? Yeah, that should be alright. That's covered nicely. We just need something to go on there and we're all good, I think. Yep. Should be fine like that there now. So yeah, reports of it's raining in Hole Beach. So that's a bit of a shame. Right. As long as I've got it all protected from the right pain, then we should be alright. We just move that cable a bit. I was happy with that. Yeah. Right, I'd say I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go and grab some tiffinage. So I just <laughs> when you're working in the elements all the time you've got to make sure you're you are prepared and you you're kind of confident with everything. I think I've got everything sorted. I'll tell you what, I'll take the TED cam away. No point in leaving it exposed, nothing's here now. Yep, yeah, that was excellent. How are we doing ladies, shents and teddy bears? I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Uh, so we should be expecting that bat later on today uh, in the evening perhaps. We'll see how long we can uh, we can keep going. So I hope we're all good. So yeah, that's it now until uh, sort of half past three perhaps. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> well with the van there, I might as well just quickly go in, start the engine, get a little bit warm and then come back. It's not a problem, isn't it? It's just a shout, I can get to you on the chats. Plus I've got to eat anyway, I might just eat it in the van. So, um, I'll tell you what, I'll leave you with a view, shall I? I'll only be gone like half an hour or something, just to give me a little break. It's always nice. Um, I could change the, actually change the battery first. That's a good idea. No, no. I mean, I won't zoom in too much, so then you can see stuff, isn't it? Right, back in a sec. Let me just uh, change the battery on there, and then I'll go for a little break. How's that? Hope that's all right.
suppose that'll be the quickest way I can do it. The quickest way for me to do that, spung on a little advert. Hi guys, I'm Nikos from the Ted Coningsby crew. Oh yeah. We want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, as far as Lozzy Mouth and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centres and special flights to Ted too. We could not do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. So we have an exclusive membership so that you can join the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We have one level of membership so that every one of you can enjoy it and that no one is left behind. We have exclusive perks for our members too to enjoy such as members only videos which include deleted scenes, music videos, behind the scenes footage and more. Members can take part in members only polls, there will also be discounts for our members too on our merchandise and you'll also get your own emojis and special member badges next to your name too. All you have to do is click the join button and all this for just £1.99 a month. Your membership will help fund our channel to get us around the country and for this just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has joined already. Bit of tea. Oh, yeah. Hope we're all good. All right, let me just catch up with all you before I go for a little bit of break. And then we can do some Q&A. But yeah, thanks everyone for, for that. Uh, lots of likes. How many likes have we got? So we're not far from... Uh, Still got 132 to go, sadly. Um, I thought we'd 132 subscribers to go. Yeah, come on. What's the matter, everyone? Come on. <laughs> uh, we just need some new traffic, really. That's what we need. Do a bit QA. Uh, let's have a look. What is the deal with the rain at the minute? Let me just check because I need to I need to know because I can't really leave it all out here while I'm I mean to be honest, it'd be a good coverage. Coverage, get it. Ooh. Yeah, it looks to be emotional later, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how long it's gonna take for the Chinook. I'm gonna just grab some tea, Could do some uh, Q&A. Right, yeah, let me just check the uh, weather app. Okay, let's have a look. Should be all right for a little bit. The weather's constantly changing all the time, so. Some sort of rain coming later. No, maybe not. It's saying four o'clock is when it gets a bit emotional. Oh gosh, yeah, and then later tonight it's really bad. Well, let me see how well, let me see what I can do and let's see if I can cope with it. Um, and then I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea and then we'll do a Q&A &A, and then I'll go and eat. Could, could, I could just go and eat first, actually. Get the military tins out. And then I've got, I've got some chuck and I'm gonna be like Reggie, I've got some chucking. It's all about the chucking and all. I'll have some tea to warm me up, and then I'll have some food. Who remembers last time when I walked up to Tower and everyone was screaming? It's like, there's F-15s coming! F-15, and I think that those were the ones that were dropping the GBU-12s, weren't they? Yes, it was! That was hilarious, that. Mmm. That was brilliant. I thought I'd walk up to tower and I can hear the scanner from, from up the tower. Uh, 
and um, everyone was like, get back this. And obviously, uh, if, you, if you're tuned in, you knew exactly what was coming and what they were carrying as well. I had no idea they were dropping bombs until I seen it. Yeah, that's got to be one of my favorite uh, whole beach times, that one. One of my favorite moments at whole beach. And then of course, Ted been uh, taken. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was watching Ted firing wet rounds, amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah. So yeah, the uh, Chinook will be back later. Not sure what time, which is why I'm gonna just keep this running and just see how long we can keep going until we get completely drowned. But I will take a quick trip to the, to the van and just keep a little bit warm. Just fire it up there a little bit and then come back and do a Q&A. Something like that. Sounds like a plan. I'm just going to go and get something to eat. And then we can do a Q&A. Or do you want a Q&A now? Let's have a look. Let me see what we've got here. Reggie, where are you, mate? Now we've got spillage. We've got spillage. Spillage. No one likes a bit of spillage there and all. There this guy there now. Eee You're right there now. Go me get some chuck gun. Southern fried style chicken. It's out there around there now. Loving my children, my uh, chicken there now. Ah, chicken. Good for the soul there now. Good for the, good for the soul there now. Gotta get me some chicken. I like my chicken. Reggie, you're right with that. Aye, I love my chicken. Nice one, Reggie. Reggie's off to have some chicken. Not a bad idea, that Reg. Bit nippy out here, isn't it? Yes. Ah, far, far. My name's Wingy. Used to be a wing commander, you know? Yes. Ah, far, far. Eh, hell eh. Rather cold out here, isn't it? Yes. Thought I'd just uh, come along with the bears, see how they're all doing, see how they're all holding up. Yes. Far, far, far. Yeah, it was quite nice to see a Chinook. Yes. What a remarkable aircraft, isn't it? Yes. Helicopter. Blasting away there. Fantastic. Proud of my boys and girls of the Royal Air Force. Far, 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 far. Yes, don't forget to hit that like button. Right, I'm off for a quick cup of tea and some tiffin. It's tiffin time for us bears. Yes, every time is a tiffin time. Yes, always make time for tiffin. That's an order. Yes. Right, I'm off. Cheerio, chocks away! <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, ladies, gents, steady bears, that'll be the plan. I'm just going to go and crab, grab a quick bite and I'll be back in a jiff. As they say. Right, I'll leave you with these views here and out. How's that? I won't zoom into it, just in case you can see some action there now. Anything going on there now? Right, back in a bit. See ya!
we're doing Ted Coningsby channel how's it all going hope you're all good thanks to uh, thanks for that I just needed to go and get something to eat and uh, left you with nature there right so we're gonna have a bit of a QA, and a I think aren't we Ted yeah let's do it I uh, just want to say a massive thank you to two people. Uh, Paul Masterton, thank you very much, man, for your help as well. Hope we can get things going soon. Uh, drop us an email, man, if you get to hear this. I think he's gone, actually, but Paul, if you get it, thank you. And also Andrew Porter as well, who sent me a lovely Royal Air Force baseball hat. Thank you very much for that hat. Really, really appreciate that. So, uh, all good. MC Mark, hope you had a good birthday. All right. Ted's coming on, who will uh, be answering your questions. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's, uh, let me just, is, are there any guards marches, Ted? Let's have a look here now. Yes. Lots of guards marches. So let's start off with Margot Baxter for that phenomenal treat. Thank you so much, Margot. That's amazing, that super chat. Thank you very much. Um, and then we've got Belinda Morley, seven months membership. Thank you for your service, Belinda Morley. Thank you. I've just got to sort that button out, Ted. Let me just press this button quickly. It should be a little bit more clearer now. There you go. Um, also, Daniel Edwards for joining the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Guards March. For Andrew Edwards. Oh, Daniel Edwards, sorry, start again. Daniel Edwards, this one's for you. And that's for uh, Daniel Edwards, thank you. And uh, Josh Weaver, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron again. So you've got Daniel and Edward. Uh, Daniel Edwards and Josh Weaver, our latest and greatest uh, members. And also Margot Baxter um, for Sharon Smart Remembrance. Oh, that's lovely, Margot. Thank you so much. Dawn Priestley as well. Um, seen an amazing aircraft I never thought I would and been welcomed into an amazing family, says Dawn Priestley. Six months membership. Her uh, badge has now turned to the red patch. Thank you very much. And we've also got uh, Davey uh, for Tiat. Can't wait to meet you. Davey, thank you. Guards March for Davey. Thank you very much. Nick Ward for the Waka Waka parking meter. <laughs> Love it. Guards March. New more, some more recruits as well. Helen Owen, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Helen Owen, welcome. And we've got Robert Owen as well. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Helen and Robert, thank you very much. Thank you so much. More new recruits. Mike George, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you so much. Lots of new recruits today. Thank you so much. River Grace, welcome to the TCS Posh Officers Club. Thank you so much. Guards March. Thank you so much. More new recruits. We've got Richard, uh, no, we've got a gifted membership from Richard Barnes. Guards March for you, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, all of you. And Margot for Ted's Tiffin, thank you very much. Guards March for you there, Margot Baxter for Ted's Tiffin. Thank you very much. Uh, Paul Masterson, thank you very much. Guards March for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Oi, oi. Andrew Porter for the lovely baseball hat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was a lovely surprise and thanks for the letter that you included as well. So, right, let's, uh, let's put that on and we're gonna do a little Q&A with Ted. So, ladies, gents and teddy bears, we have our uh, squadron leader here who's uh, happy to take some um, to answer your questions so uh 
Go for it. Uh, Christopher Carr? No. Is the answer to that? No, it looks like it's just going to be the Chinook from what I've heard. But you never know. Something can book in just like that, though. So you just never know. <laughs> Andy Williams, yeah, man. Nice one. Yes, thanks for reminding me of the name. Uh, big shout out to Gary and Debbie Brooks for we had another fan mail um, arrive yesterday. We, we get them all the time. In fact, we get them every day. Um, we get all sorts of letters, fan mail, cards, DVDs, books, memorabilia. And uh, just want to say thank you to them, Gary and Debbie Brooks, for the wonderful Christmas cards. There was three Christmas cards in there. One Christmas card for the Spanner flight. That is absolutely brilliant recognition. Uh, a card for myself and Claire Bear as well, and Ted, and another one for all the bears. And then they included a wonderful photo of all their bears. So thank you to all the bears. The teddy bears are coming. Uh, synchro tones. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, Ted does have a winter jumper. He will wear it. Don't worry. Um, what was the first aircraft Ted saw? Uh, Andrew, it was actually a typhoon, a Eurofighter typhoon at Coningsby, which gave him the inspiration uh, to have a dream to fly. Uh, Red Ted's flying at the moment. He's out with the Red Arrows. He's on uh, Special Ops, um, I believe. But he, he'll probably pop by later. And he's always around. Meth, another busy day for me. Thanks, Nikos. <laughs> so we've got a... Uh, just doing a QA and a with Ted. If you've got any questions for our squadron leader, just uh, feel free to ask. Mayhem Marshy is a very good question. In bear years, I think Ted's about three years old. Ted, how old are you, mate? Me. He's not too sure. <laughs> well, I'd say Ted was three years old. Ted, you're three years old, I think, mate. In uh, in bear years, aren't you? Yeah. Lady Shen Steady Bears. Chris Bloxham, uh, where are you spending Christmas this year? Any plans? Well, Chris, just to let you know, as the TCS do it, uh, for the whole of December until, uh, yeah, for the whole of December. Should we be doing it for the whole of December, Ted? Should we just get festive for the whole of December? Yeah. So for the whole of December, Ted and I will be wearing our Christmas hats, our Santa hats, for the whole of December to bring that cheer. <laughs> uh, plans are... Just chilling out with all the bears, um, Chris. Ted's chilling out with all the bears. And uh, we'll see if we're going to do a Christmas special, uh, which will be like a like we did for Halloween, really, for something to watch around 7 o'clock, perhaps, on Christmas Day. We'll see what we can do. Um, but that was quite nice, get everyone involved. And just a little family, family, just something to watch over. You know, when it gets late in the evening, there's, there's always that, what should we watch? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have one on anyway. 
Davies asked, would Ted rather fly the U2 or the SR71 if he could have? Oh, that's, that's, I think Ted's already made up his mind. It'll be the SR71. Yeah, Ted likes that one. Christopher Carr, Ted, are you any relation to Paddington Bear? Uh, yes, all bears are related in some description. They're all, they're all like cousins, I believe. Question, past or present? What famous person would you love to have a conversation with? Oh, Ted, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh, Ted's having a little think. What was that, Ted? What's going on over there? What's with the flashing light? Hang on. <coughs> well, I've not seen that before. Oh, I see. Look at this. Um, yeah. So, Captain A, that is a great question. Um, I'd, Ted, Ted's got a few people he'd like to meet. And uh, one of them would be uh, Tom Cruise. I think it is. He's always wanted to meet Tom Cruise. <laughs> uh, and uh, also Guy Powell as well. Glenn Powell. Yeah, Ted wants to meet Glenn Powell as well from um, from the Top Gun 2 movie, Maverick. Not Guy Powell. Who's Guy Powell? I don't know. Glenn Powell. Thanks, Ted. And Tom Cruise as well. Uh, he'd also like to uh, do some cooking with Gordon Ramsay and play guitar with uh, Joe Satriani as well. I don't know if they're listening. Mickey, maybe. I'll tell you what, I'd love to make a movie about Ted. I've got it in my head, I've got all the, uh, I've done like a storyboard. Um, I'd love to make a movie about uh, the, the actual bear that wanted to fly. Um, I've got it all in my head, I've got all the scenes. That would be great. Uh, Margo Baxter, Ted Coningsby, are you looking forward to your trip to RF Coningsby with Nikos and family? Absolutely, Margo, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> There is a Mrs. Ted. She's uh, her name's Gina. She she's a rare Pokemon. And she does appear now and again. Johnny B, yes, Ted has been up in the lank. Oh yes, 30th of September, I think it was. It was the, it was the, it was the Sunday before we went off to Lossie. What an absolute amazing few months we've had. In fact, the whole year. You have to agree, it has been absolutely phenomenal for the whole Ted Coningsby channel. Thanks a lot, Tim S. You take care, man. I'll be right back for that. Let me just uh, see what else is happening. Let's 
So our next movement is potentially that Chinook. Um, they did say they were coming back, see in the evening they said so. I'd say from about, well, keep a lookout for it. It's obviously gone to Lake Eneef as we found out. So we're probably looking about five o'clock perhaps, roughly, just a guess. And then it'll obviously be dark and then that'll be it for today. But I've got to, gonna, don't know how I'm going to do this, dodging the rain in the dark. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's always a challenge for me. Um, but we'll see. We'll just uh, see what happens here. And I splashed out. I bet uh, Sam and Frodo would have done, could have done with this, couldn't they? Uh, delivering, you know, getting the ring to Mordor with this, that would have been a lot easier for them, I think. God, look at the state of this. I would not recommend that. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier for them to, uh... What was that place? Was it the Deaf Swamp or something? Or the Dead dead Marshes? Was it Dead Marshes, they called it, wasn't it? Dead Marshes. It reminds me of that as well, of all the, the bogs as well, and all those, like, you know... Oh, man, from Lord of the Rings I'm talking about, for those who don't know. So yeah, so they'll often carry out um, routine inspections and just to check some of the equipment and of course pick up any debris uh, when required to do so. So if you just joined us, Ted Connigsby channeled live here at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. And uh, we're live again tomorrow for Ted's worldwide, world famous Quick Climb Friday. So yeah, looking forward to that. And next week's uh, next week's rotor, shall we say, is going to be very, very interesting. So we uh, we're going to start off at RAF Coningsby, and then we will then head off straight away to Leeming and catch. Hopefully, I'm going to keep an, keep my uh, keep track of what the movements are with that because we've got the Swiss Air Force coming with their uh, F-18 Hornets uh, to Leeming. And so Monday is going to be Coningsby, Tuesday will be RAF Leeming, then it's rolling the dice for Wednesday and Thursday, ladies, gents and teddy bears. Wednesday and Thursday, the TCS are going to be at the Lake District for some low flying, weather permitting. Now this really is weather permitting. To have rain up on the, when you're doing low level, it's bad enough just carrying all the equipment. But when you're on a slope on the edge of what's a mountain, shall we say, it has to be the right weather conditions. If it's going to be a light little drench, fine. I know they have their own weather systems, but when it, if it's going to be a downpour, climbing up a very steep slope, it's it's very very harsh. Um, if that is to if that were to happen, then we will get you footage. You know, because it's quite it's a lot easier, a lot user friendly, just taking a camera up on a slope. 
Um, because last time, uh, it, well, our last adventure to the Lake District was our best, wasn't it? 16 aircraft for you. Ah, oh, yeah. Four F-35s, two F-15s, seven Typhoons, and we had, we had, did we have Texans as well? I think we had Texans as well, yep. An A400. Yep, we had two Texans, an A400, just, you know, just to put that in there as well. And there was an extra one, there was actually a 17th, but standard, it was a Hawk that was missed, and it was actually missed as well. It just crept up while we packed up, amazing. And you're watching Mordor. Ted Connors, we channel live here at Old Beach Air Weapons Range, AKA Mordor. Uh, it does look a bit like Mordor right now. So we're still climbing to 34k, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Uh, realistically, sadly, it does look like it's going to be tomorrow. Hopefully, we get that. Let's hope we can get it sooner. Right, back to the uh, TED uh, Q&A. Always the curse of the hawk. <laughs> right, so if you've got any questions for our squadron leader, feel free to ask them. He's here ready to uh, answer your questions while we wait for the next movement. Synchro tones. Well, traditionally, we've always done it on a Tuesday. We, we always turn up on a Tuesday, but I will I will see what I can do. If I hear they are, because they might arrive, um, you know, the week before. I don't know. It depends what day they're arriving as well. It was all mixed and mashed. I have no idea at this stage. But I remember just thinking, and I'm in an R and I drove up and seen them. So I don't know what day they're arriving. Don't forget there are support aircraft as well. I don't know when it all begins. So, you know, it might be the fact that we go another week after perhaps, because usually we go the week after. Yeah, we'll see you there, Davey. We'll see you there, man. Thanks a lot, Gaza, for the updates and the weather. Oh, yeah. So my guess, this is just a guess, I wonder if the Chinook's going to come here, land, and wait for it to get dark. I think that's what, probably what happened last time, wasn't it, Ted? And then they took you up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Johnny B, classic. Uh, <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, Ted. Yeah. Pan, thanks for that. Pat, Paul, thank you for that. It arrived yesterday, did it? Okay, cool. So things are looking up then. I wonder when they're they're going to arrive then, if it's going to be on the Monday. I'm really thinking about that, what day they're going to arrive. Hmm, interesting. Well, nothing stopping me going a week after as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, the, I remember last time they, they started coming in dribs and drabs, didn't they? That's cool, that's good. So if you just tuned in, welcome. We've had uh, typhoons very high up and then one of them decided uh, from 41 Squadron to do some dry high angle strafing, which was quite nice. Um, and then of course we had the Chinook spending, what a good hour here. It was good. So that is what we're expecting. So look out from uh, Lake and Eve, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Um, as soon as the Chinook departs Lake and Eve, that's what we want. Was it uh, Vortex 486? I assume it will have the same call sign. I'll have a quick look, see what's going on. So yeah, if you look to Lake and Eve, as soon as that, uh, as soon as that Chinook departs Lake and Eve, then you know it's coming here. Right, I might have a little bit of teage. <laughs> oh, all good. But yeah, thanks everyone that's tuned in today. Um, we are on our way to 34k will it be tomorrow at quick climb friday most likely we'll see we're going to need a miracle today actually um to get that but never say never it's always good it's always good always a challenge to push forward the subscribers don't forget to hit the like button as well that that helps massively because uh youtube will recommend the stream with the more likes and of course you've seen what happened yesterday in fact on all our streams we usually get about a thousand thousand likes and then it goes crazy which you know that's that, that is our goal that is our theme we want a very successful channel and you know it's the way we do it to keep it fun you know the more support we get the more i can bring you all sorts of varieties of aircraft and we do our best and thanks everyone that you know was uh, completely filled my inbox yesterday uh sorry the day before yesterday and that's right Tuesday when absolute my inbox was full is like literally get to get to Fairford get to Fairford and I didn't want to let you all down so I went there we go I, I it's funny because it was um I was meant to go to Bryce wasn't I and I was like I, I'm gonna finish late so I finished late and I was like there's never a way I'm gonna get to Bryce with sleep so well with the inbox full and I thought well it's only sleep let's just do it so I went and there we go thanks everyone I guess it was the push I needed and I got loads of sleep yesterday. It was brilliant. Really enjoyed my sleep yesterday. This looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Look at them. Imagine just sort of sailing out to that. Imagine just sort of go, imagine the size of it. it must look pretty mad. I've seen them from planes when I've been flying, um, looking down. Oh yeah. Do you know what? It's extremely quiet. It's absolutely quiet. <laughs> Tell you what, a thunderstorm out there would be pretty mad, wouldn't it? Imagine that, getting a thunderstorm like in the distance. All the light, lightning strikes. It's pretty cool seeing that, it's beautiful. But yeah, plain spotting involves a lot of patience.
Tê đê tê Ủa Bỏ lên Email Lots of fat. Uh, let's have a look. Well, in the end, if um, if the Swiss Air Force do arrive on the Monday, then uh, wow, nothing stopping us coming for the arrivals to go and get them. Why not? We'll see. We'll see. I'll see how it goes. I'll see what things are being said. Claire Bat looks like we're going to leave in on Monday. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think I actually. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I can do it. I don't know how we're going to do it actually. I've got a half speed to Claire Bear. Right, I'm just going to keep a look out for the uh, Chinook, see, what's it, see what it's doing. Yeah, just keep a look out for Lake and Eve. As soon as it pops out of there, we know it's all good. My guess it's gonna leave there around about five o'clock, I think. If it if it does arrive, if it does depart between now and five, my guess is that it will park up and wait for it just to get a bit dark. Um, I'll go and get the TED cam ready as well.
yep, happy with that. That's the uh, TED cam sorted. Just got to wait now. Right, all good. So uh, yeah, I've got the uh, TED cam fixed again, or once again. I don't think it was. I don't think we got a lot on that TED cam, apart from when I moved it. I got it fixed on that. Let's see. It is amazingly quiet. It's so, do you ever get that? It's so quiet, it's loud. Just stop for a moment, it's like, whoa. Hang on, is the um, tide right? I've just, you know what, I've just realized. Just realized the tide is so far out now. Damn, what was I seeing just a minute ago? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. I've never seen that before. I think so. I think this is the uh, the gauge for tower. I've, I've got a funny feeling it's something to do with the radar for Hull Beach AWR. That got a funny feeling that is the one. Um, so yeah, gosh, look at this. It's gone way out. Is that what's this here? No, I think that's like a, a warning marker. I think. Yeah. Hiya. You alright there? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, hopefully the Chinook's coming back. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it should do. I know. I know. They were doing some work, so they needed to park out on the car park. Oh, right, yeah. So they all got out and moved their cars. Did they? I know. He took off backwards, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's stunning. It's always good. Um, it got a little bit. Targets. Yes. Can you? Yeah. Which Well, they change all the time with the Chinooks. They can, right. but they were going for. Um, they got some old, um, some old track vehicles out there, haven't they? Yeah, I think it's just behind the tower from here. Yeah. But they were going for that little barge, just oh, yeah. in between those sort of targets. Yeah, that's way out there. That's way out there. Yeah, it's about yeah. about a couple yeah. of miles that. Yeah, is it red and white? Yeah, I think, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, or orange or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all good. The chap who didn't used to do the range used to travel later with a JCB. Wow. Oh, what to pick up the uh, the, yeah, the, the know, bombs and bomb stuff? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've seen that before. I've seen oh, yeah. people use a tractor. Yeah, yeah. As well, yeah. 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 Oh wow. You've got to be up here for, for the evening now, I suppose, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's so quite, it's that's a, quite spectacular, isn't it? Oh, it is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Better than fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> the tracers look like they're gonna go all over the place. I don't know they? they do. They just... Yeah, yeah. You just wonder they'll come over the top of your head or something. <laughs> oh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. You are, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's good then. Thank you. Looks like he's gonna come over this way again, then, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna come over the top of yours, did he? Uh, no, it just just over this side. It came from from. Oh yeah. That side. Sometimes they come in that way round, you know. Yeah. I suppose it yeah. depends where they're coming from. They had a patch on it the other day. Yeah, it landed here as well, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. They're pretty good pilots, aren't they? They are amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, see you then. Yeah, take I'm, care, I'm Bart. I was mine earlier on because I see that typhoon coming over this way. He's coming from, from, from south to north, wasn't he? Yeah, that was strange. Yeah. That was, was different. Was he dropping bombs or was he just... No, just dry. Just, just, just doing stuff. Just dry. But at least he appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, that was quite cloudy, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's not very high today, is it? No, 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 not at all. No, they usually go from, from that way, from, from coming that way today. Yeah. Oh, well, nice to see you, Ted. You too, mate. Bye. Bye bye. Do -do 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 -do. How we're doing ladies gents and teddy bears hope we're all good so yeah just keep a look out <laughs> yeah just keep a look out for uh for lake and Eve. and we are looking out for our chinook i mean 
every aircraft's more than welcome to just turn up, please. Thank you very much. If, uh, yeah. Let's have a look down there, let's have a look here. And I'm doing a bit of homework here, right? I've got this right. Okay, so, target five. Do you know what's amazing, right? You see these states, right? So this is target five, right? That, uh, so according to this, right, those stakes are 30 foot high. Wow. The heavy bomb target, this is described as a series of 30 foot tall stakes, uh, surmounted with white and orange drums, practice bombs of up to 2,000 pounds can be used on this target, according to this source. And that's target five. So it's then saying target six, which it still doesn't make any sense. Would they really dot dot like dot them around like that? Don't know. That looks like target eight. That's target nine. That's target five. I suppose I don't have to do it in uh, sort of number order, right? Mix it up a bit. And then we've got the strafing ones. Um, strafe panels, I guess in, because this is such an old website. I mean, there's that as well. There's like the strafing targets, target one, different panels, there's target three which is all the way, you can't see it from here, it's like these white barrels. I'm a bit confused. Unless it's that, really interesting. Anyway, whichever, we're, we're learning. Tell you what, Hall Beach Tower, if you're listening one day, please may I have a little tour. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just, just learning about the targets. I got them all wrong today. I was like, "What is this?" Ba -da -da -da. Because apparently, according to this site, there's two tanks. Hmm. Well, if that's about two and a half miles away, that would make sense to be 30 foot. I'd say that was about, I'd say that was right. So well, that tea is good. It's nice in the cold, that tea. So we've got 127 to go. Not bad, not bad. Surely we'll get some more viewers as soon as uh, the Chinook starts firing at the range again.
Call it out, tastes good. So yeah, next up should be our Chinook. Um, again, no indication of when it's coming. We just need to just keep our eyes on that radar app as soon as it departs Lake and Eve. Then we know it's on its way. What's that over there? I think. Okay. I think we've got a red arrow. Yeah, I think we've got a red arrow coming. I think we've got. Yeah, I think it is. I think the red arrow's coming here. What's it doing over here? What's going on over here? What's it doing over here? Yeah, I think we've got a red arrow just coming over here now. I don't know what it's doing over here. Nope, there it is. Yeah, they dropped him off. I told you. Yeah, they dropped him off. There he is. Ah, red Ted, how you doing? Are you good? Yeah. I thought I could see a pretty little plane, a red one. Yeah, you better watch out, Reggie's about. So what have you been up to today? Right, okay, some uh, aerobatics. You had a good time. Always up to no good, I Always up to mischief, aren't you? You're comfy moving all that. Good old Red Ted. He's a funny one, isn't he? Cheeky little chap. He is the cheeky chap, isn't he? my guess yeah that is my guess I mean, that pheasant, that did sound like a pheasant, right? I mean, that's proper, this is like, this is Mordor, isn't it? I mean, look at this. I say what, well, it's going to definitely look like Mordor later on. Normally on a clear day you can see all the uh almost had the pheasant. Hang on. Oh, I guess this is aviation, isn't it? 
birds. But yeah, um, nice treat from the typhoon. A little bit shy through the clouds, but you know, it can't help that. And then of course we had the Chinook today, which was great. Always good to see the Chinook. Um, so yeah, we're hoping for its return around about 1700. That's just my prediction. Yeah, a lot of people telling me about Monday. Yeah, maybe I'll do, I could do leaming on Monday as well. Do a back to back. Sounds good up there. Shame we can't see it. It's so cloudy, cannot see that. Very low cloud base today, sadly. Is it? Oh, is it mozzie time? I'll tell you what, I've got my spray. I've got my spray, man. Nikos is essentials. Bit of sprayage going on now. Nikos, clear hot. Yeah, that made you go away, didn't it? Hey, Nikos is uh, being cleared hot. Hell yeah. God, that worked. They just, they've gone. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'll have that. Yeah, citronella spray. Yeah, they ain't coming back. Yes, see ya. Right. Oh, they've gone over it. Oh, okay, you want some more now, eh? Hey, you want some more, eh? <laughs> Cleared hot. <laughs> yeah, they gotta go. I know this is the only place where you get mosquitoes like in the cold. Look at I mean, and they're nasty. They, they, I've got scars from them, from these ones. They are nasty. They are proper bad, man. These ones, they are, they actually leave you with scars. I've never known it. I've, I've, I've dealt with them in Cyprus. I've dealt with them in Greece, fine standard. But these ones are, have been the worst mosquitoes I've ever experienced. They are absolutely lethal. And you honestly left me with scars. They were that bad. Well, they've got to go. <laughs> Mm 
But yeah, those of you who are planning to come to Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, this is the reality of it. I mean, we've had some really good times here, haven't we? We've had some absolute classic times. And, you know, like I said, just be prepared and be patient to spend the whole day. Of course, it's more enjoyable on a, like, if the weather's nice and a lot more kinder. Yeah, admittedly. But, you know, I'm here to bring you the action. So I really appreciate you being here with me. It's always nice to have you there with me as well. It's really good. So thank you for that. Yeah, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have this on me all the time. This, this is great. This thing. This is brilliant. Actually, I've got to hope it's not going on the lens, that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to have So if you just joined us, yeah, ladies, gentlemen, Teddy Bears, we are awaiting and hoping for the Chinook to arrive back. And that is our movements for today. Uh, that should be it. So, uh, yeah, sit back, hold tight, get your tea and coffees and anything else you want to drink and snacks. And don't forget your uh, fly spray. This is brilliant. I'm loving this. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. I've even got one of those neon light things that, that zap them and all. Yeah, I'm ready for it today. Oh, there's more of them. Hey, there's more. Okay. There's some uh, formation going on. The noise is not actually coming from these birds, by the way, even though it looks like it just then. <laughs> God, do you see the size of those mosquitoes on the, on the front of the screen? Honestly, they're lethal here, man. They've got to go. Yeah, you gotta go, mate. <laughs> is it, Dr. Soda? Is that real? 12 more likes to 1,000. That's amazing. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get my, uh, I'm gonna get that light out. It's time to burn. <laughs> oh. Got creatures in there. There you go, have some of that, mozzies. There you go. See how that works. <laughs> They're proper going. Look at them. They've got to go, man, don't they? <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Right, quick battery check.
We got 1K as well. No way, that's amazing. <laughs> Yes, 1K. Woo! Sorry, you're probably wondering why. But yes, uh, I took it off so I can get access. I mean, these are all right. Hang on. Oh, it does work. Oh, well, I'll put the other one on. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, thank you very much. We've got 1K. Ted, come on, mate, let's celebrate. Oh, yeah. Ted and I would like to thank everyone for getting us to 1K. De Ted Conning's B is coming from Odium to Cranwell, from Macloop to the Lake District. From from Conning's B to Barham, from Odium to Cranwell. Ted Conning's B is coming. <laughs> Thank, that's your fault, Synchrotones man, for inspiring that song. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Anything for a laugh, man. If it makes you smile, that's all good. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting us a 1K. Oh, yeah. One K, one K. How are we all doing, Meth, Christine Barnes? Oh yeah. Thanks a lot, Captain A. How you doing? Hope you're good. Andrew Porter, thank you. Joao, how you doing? Yanis Godsis, how you doing? Uh, who else? Trespire, how you doing? Hope you're good. <laughs> it's all good. Bjorn Danielson, how you doing? Chris Bloxham, Rebecca Gaza, how you all doing? Hope you're all good. Mosquito bites can do this. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're they're actually attracted to the um, to the uh, to the light now. So yes, apologies for any uh, sounds there, but nice one. Thank you very much for getting us to one k. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you. Just done the battery check as well. Um, we're, we're pretty good. Uh, let's have a look. I will do another check after this. Uh, I'm just going to have a look on ADSB. Come on, where are you? Nothing. Yeah, my, my guess is around about five o'clock it's going to come here, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's, let's just hope. Let's just hope it hasn't gone tech because that'll just be our worst nightmare, right? Sounds like a phone. <laughs> I love that sound.
Thanks a lot, Christine Barnes. Hope you're all good. Hope you're all good. Uh, Davey, how's it going? Hope you're good. The Venga Ted's nice, nice. Tress by, how you doing? Good evening to you. Gaza, how's it going? Catherine Burkett, how you doing? <laughs> Christine Barnes, thank you very much. <laughs> Do the mosquitoes have air to air missiles? Matt, yeah, they're very good at strafing. They're very good at strafing. There's, there's actually millions of them here. Shall I try spraying them again? I'll do it. Yeah. See ya. I've just got to be careful it doesn't go on the screen like it just did then. <laughs> Yeah, it's gone all over me now, that has. <laughs> oh no. Ah, no worries. Right, so we're all good. Can't believe it. We've got 1k. That's brilliant, man. That's a fantastic achievement. Thanks everyone that's helped out with that. That is amazing. Can we get can we get 34k today though? That is the question. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Probably one more. One more cup of tea. Come on. Uh, Trespire, we had uh, we had fast jet and uh, rotary today. Uh, there should be another ch well, it should be um, the Chinook that came today should be coming back. Uh, it's just having a refuel at Lake and Eve currently at the moment. Uh, yeah, Trespar, they were firing both. They fought, right, get you ready for this, Trespar. 7,500 rounds they fired. That's a lot. That's a lot of roundage. Um, so that was impressive. Uh, they fired, yeah, they used both mini guns, the two mini guns, and the uh, rear um, gun as well, the M50D. So we're just hoping, uh, just so for those that are fixed to the flight radar or any of your ADS-B tracker 360 radar, uh, just keep a look out Lake and Eve as soon as that Chinook is airborne, then it's coming here. That's what we're waiting for. And uh, armament of the Chinook, like we said, they got two 762 uh m13 miniguns so they fire 762s and it's got the uh m60d sorry m60d not the m50 sorry my bad i keep getting that confused with the m6 uh the sorry the m61 vulcan but yeah 
just to just to confirm that the Chinook has M134 miniguns times two, and they fire 7.62s, and the M60D machine gun at the back again firing 7.62s. Yep, 7,500 rounds, just they completely went for it today, man. Funny enough that I mentioned the red arrows were up. They are actually up currently at the moment at Waddington. Uh, still no news on the Chinook. But don't worry, it will be coming. Uh, Edward, officially 10 p.m. tonight. Margo, thank you so much for gifting 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. That's so kind of you, thank you so much. Wow. Arjun, how you doing, man? Hope you're good. How's Arjun doing? Not long for uh, the Ted Coningsby International Air Tattoo. <laughs> Love that. Marco, thank you very much for gifting 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you so much. Guards March. That deserves a guard's march and a fly past. A 9G turn, was that, Ted? Beautiful. Thanks a lot, Margo. And a high five. And a bear hug. <laughs> Alan Scott, see you at Lake Eve tomorrow. See you there. For uh, Ted's Quick Climb Friday. Uh, reason for Lake Eve and not Coningsby is the aerodrome opening hours and closure, of course. So Lake Eve will be operating later tonight. Hence, they can do that. So uh, with uh, Coningsby probably closing in about an hour or so, or within an, within the hour, it's just my guess, um, that's why. Sometimes they'll use Lake and Eve, uh for refueling. Sammy B, Lake and Eve memories from June. Oh yeah. Please share the channel, make us proud. Please do, Lady Shins Teddy Bears, don't forget. Do share the channel, do share it, it's, you know. Ted Coningsby channel has come a long way, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. It's come so far. Starting off, I've still got my one glove on. It feels a bit weird. Should I put the other one on? Yeah, it's come a long way, the channel. It's come so far from just using a mobile phone 
to, to to all this equipment you know from getting the van and and just bringing you the fun and and I kept going I kept going you know I kept going I didn't care because this bear is much loved by a lot and he does so much for all military aviation charity uh, military charity sorry and we do a lot for you as well we do so much for everyone not only do we brighten up oh, this bear how many times have you seen ted just brighten up your day how many times do you know that how many times you experience ted just brightening up your day or some of my random you know things that i do that you know just puts a little cheer i just went with it it was uh, it was a funny funny story to just just do it i went with it i didn't care what people said I, yeah we we you know channel's growing we're gonna get we're gonna get some negativity in the background but we're nothing to do with negativity at all but you know people just uh didn't quite get it i get it i know teddy bear but hey look what it's done if one bear can inspire a youngster to join our air force then we've done the right thing if one if a bear can raise ten thousand pounds of one just one charity surely that's great right and we're doing it for our military charity. How good is that to help with PTSD, mental health, and for those going through a bad time to hopefully get them on the right track. And Ted's done that. So another 4,000 pounds raised for other military charities as well. Royal Marines Charity, Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund, and of course the Head Up Charity. How good is that? 14,000 pounds, yeah? That's a lot for charity. So thank you everyone who's donated. That is fantastic. You know, that is absolutely amazing to help the very people, um, not only on, on, a, on, a, on a military, uh, not on an um, aviation enthusiast side of things, because we love our aircraft, but for what they actually do is to, to protect our airspace and, of course, in their own sectors, whether it's Royal Marines, Army, Navy and of course the Royal Air Force. So, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much, everyone. And we hit 1K as well. Anyway, so yeah, uh, if you just joined us, thank you very much. Uh, Ted Coningsby channel live here at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. This is a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. So earlier today we had the uh, Typhoon from 41 Squadron and then a couple of hours later we had the Chinook firing over 7,000, I think it was 7,500 rounds. <laughs> Get in. So yeah, and uh, it's just parked up at Lake Eneath right now as we speak. And well, hopefully it's not, hopefully it's airborne and coming here now, but we'll see. So it's due, I guess, for, for night firing. So yeah, so we've had a lot of shooting and strafing. Uh, let's see what we can, uh, let's see what the Chinook does. So I've got the TED cam ready, which is just over there. I fixed it. It's a lot easier with tracers because I can, if, if, if I've got it on the wrong target, I can quickly move it and then hope, hope it will work. But if uh, I'll keep an eye out, on which target it's going to be but it'll be it'll be very dark okay because we don't want to ruin the tracers because if you start messing around getting it really bright you start to lose the effect of the tracer so it's going to be amazing it's going to look like some sort of computer game like an old school computer game like buying buying those tracers really do bounce i think it's uh they call it a one a one four configuration so the fifth one i think it is the fifth one's a tracer i think it's four and then a tracer four and then tracer so every every five i think they call it a one four i think so i think that's right i think that's right anyway uh yeah thanks very much everyone and do share the channel as well and like our usual um it's really good the way it's grown we're hoping then tomorrow we get 34k what a way to end the week with 34k that would be good that was brilliant and it's been a great week i mean started off emotional with uh coningsby with just the two aircraft and backwards flying crows i believe then we went to lake and Eve and and it was fantastic flying as usual uh wednesday we took ourselves to fairford on demand by you uh to get us to see the b1s and then we saw a u2 and a 747 land as well which was amazing and today we've seen a typhoon again doing some strafing and uh, the Chinook from RAF Odium, so a lovely mix. And then tomorrow it's Quick Climb Friday. So remember, next week, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, there is no Quick Climb Friday, not because we're not going to be there, because of the Thanksgiving period for the US. So remember that, all right? So let me just uh, check the latest and greatest news on ADSB where our Chinook is.
seeing nothing at the moment. Uh, yeah, nothing at the moment. That's fine. No worries. It will be here. Come on. Come on. Come, sir. Wow, sunset is at four. Uh, seven minutes past four. You're joking. Is it? No, no way. That's quite scary. I didn't realise sunset was that early. Seven minutes past four. You are got to be kidding me. Wow. I had no idea it was going to it was that early to be honest. Amazing. Just getting a, a reading now on my GPS. Just give me a more accurate time on that. Okay, so due to my location, it's four minutes past four, exactly where I am for sunset. So obviously it uh, changes by a few minutes depending on where you are in the UK. Because obviously it takes a few minutes, obviously, for uh, the sun, depending on where you are, positioned in the world as well. So hence, uh, I, I wasn't there... Um, they got it so accurate once that they were actually Bristol and London, I think, had a half an hour time zone difference. Uh, but it confused everyone during the times of uh, trains from uh, travelling. So uh, England, uh, Britain used to have a half an hour time, time zone. Um, a couple of hundred years ago, I think it was, in the 1800s, I think it was. Sure. Um, and uh, it confused a lot of people, so they aborted it. Abolished it is probably the right word. There you go, a little random fact. I don't know what year that was. No idea. Um, I'm trying to even think if they even had a 15 minute difference, but it was either 15 or half an hour time zone difference between Bristol and London. Um, in, in fairness, it probably is. In If you think about it, one town, you know, 100 miles down, it, it should technically have a time difference of about a minute and then etc etc um, you know because that's you know because that's nature but obviously if we were to do that then it would just it would just go all wrong um, if we were to have that sort of thing so we just uh, round it off to the nearest hour so on. I think I spoke about time zones before but I don't think I mentioned that one that particular fact <laughs> Frank Wyszynski, how you doing? Hope you're all good. 10 days to the TCS party. We're all gonna have a good time. Mm. 
Yep, totally, yeah. It's looking a bit more like Mordor now, isn't it? Mordor, that's the eye of Sauron. <laughs> Still good, still running, things sweet and neat. Oh gosh, it's actually starting to get dark already. Unbelievable, isn't it? Wow. And then of course the weekend. See that quick climb Thursday really threw me out. It really <laughs> kept thinking I lost my days, thanks. You know when you get yourself in a routine, you kind of lose your days but hey here we go starting to uh, get dark now some lovely scenes from uh, Hole Beach AWR Ted cam ready for action Uh, synchro tones, good question. Probably not because we're not there, but <laughs> nothing stopping them doing it. Nothing stopping them doing it for Quick Climb Wednesday. Yeah, we don't have those uh, dragons from Lord of the Rings, but we've got these things there now. Paul Masters, how you doing, man? Uh, gave you a uh, guards march, by the way, to say thank you, Paul. Hope you're good. thinking that so for those that are interested it's called historic Bristol time so I think technically, because it runs on solar, someone just mentioned that. Of course, we naturally run on the, the light. And uh, the clock over the old corn exchange in Bristol has two minute hands because the red minute hand shows the Greenwich Mean Time and the black minute hand shows the Bristol time. So it is a throwback to a proper revolution in measuring time following the development of railways and telegraph communications. 
before the railroads came there was no particular reason why people in Bristol should keep the same time as people in London not just Bristol but in other parts of the UK and the world time meant local solar time so natural or solar time depends on locations position in relation to the Sun which is what we were trying to say that's why we, we actually have different sunset times across this country and what with a minute difference from village or town to city to city so natural noon or midday in a place is when the sun is at its highest point above that location but after the expansion of railway networks running trains accurately required standardization it was not just trains you can actually read the full story on uh, the Greenwich Mean Time uh, website about the whole change. Read the full story of the significant change. So Bristol is at 2 degrees uh, 35 west of Greenwich, so a bit behind London in terms of sun's apparent daily journey. So before the introduction of standard time zones, when it was noon in Bristol, it was already 10 minutes past noon in London. So Bristol clock above the coin exchange is still showing the historic solar time differences to London. So you can actually go to the coin exchange and see that clock says two sets of minute hands. So I think I'm just trying to I'm, I'm wondering whether then my half an hour was was wrong. I think maybe they used a fifth. They, maybe they adjusted the clocks by 15 minutes then. I'm sure that was I, I'm sure just trying to remember. Hang on. Because because if you're in Bristol and London, the the people in London would have already seen the sunset, right? To those of Bristol. Just giving that as an example. Yeah, it was 15 minutes, not half an hour. So they actually so Bristol and London had a 15 minute time difference. But obviously they they aborted that in the end because it was too confusing how amazing is that to even think that but technically it's right that is correct solar time is different from the west to the east in in the same country so i mean you, you look at australia for example you look at other countries like america they have they have different time zones and again it's the same country so yes but obviously it's done hour to hour but um technically it should be minute by minute but that would just like mess things up badly wouldn't it it's working so oxford because you've also right check these out right oxford right oxford time is five minutes two seconds behind gmt leeds time is six minutes ten seconds behind gmt bristol is ten minutes behind gmt uh, Carnforth is 11 minutes 5 seconds beyond GNT. Barrow is 12 minutes 54 seconds. There you go. A little random thing, completely changing the subject. <laughs> Still no news on our whole beach uh, sorry our Chinook from Lake and Eve at the moment I'm my guess then it's going to be quite late because um, if, if, it, if it's gone to Lake and Eve which means it's it's going to be later than when Coningsby closes so I'm wondering if it's going to set off around five o'clock it's going to be so dark it's going to be dark like Mordor Eh, meh. And then it'll be here for about an hour. And then that's it. I wonder if I should stop taking some things back to the motor. Eh, meh.
So yeah, for those tuned in, uh, we're just waiting for the Chinook and that would be it for today. And uh, yeah, time to see some tracers. That's the one thing I love about the Chinooks. If we do get Apaches coming at night, they don't, they, I mean, I've seen them before. They rarely, rarely use uh, tracers. Don't know why, they just don't. Um, So yeah, just keep a lookout for Lake Eneath. As soon as that Chinook's up, it's happy days. Oh, look at them. Loads of them. Millions of them. There probably is actually a million. Look at them now now. God, that mosquito. Look at how big that is then. <laughs> I always think about the one at the back. And, you know, I always think about that that one right at the back. Oh, it's very dramatic, isn't it? Look at it. <laughs> Got that song stuck in my head. Dark air now. Billions of geese. Yeah, probably. Marco with the jokes. Where's Eggy these days? Where's Egg Custard? I haven't seen him for a while. I've seen him, but on on the on the chats a while ago. And uh, I hope he's all right. So they're kind of heading for Norway. Are they going to Norway? In Denmark, it is that direction. Oh, it's getting dark, man. It's been a fun day. I, I, I do enjoy coming here because it's you, you don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. You have no idea what's going to happen. What aircraft is coming and just enjoy it. It's brilliant. I'm still uh, love to get you another Osprey. I, th I think I did get you an Osprey once, didn't I? Um, bit of Ospreyage. But I had it on a wrong setting, I think, and it was like right in the corner. Because I, um, in the day, I, ha I had it on 720, if you remember, I had it. Because, I don't know, the signal is very weak out here. But it's enough to keep me going. And I went to uh, just up it a little bit. And it, um, yeah. But, anyway, I've got it for you. How are we all doing? I hope we're all good. Ooh, so much wildlife. It is a haven here for wildlife. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at the, uh, 
bit of uh, Hunt Stanton. Is that how's Hunt Stanton going on here and all? It's quite nice, isn't it, really? So we've got Hunt Stanton right, on the, right over there, and uh, I'm not sure if we can see Skegness. We'll try. I think that might be Skegness. The lights on the right, the very faint ones, I think that's I'm not sure actually. It is that way anyway. Right, Chinook, where are you? Thanks a lot, everyone that's tuned in today. Thank you so much. How are we doing? Hope we're all good. Cool. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, my, my guess on that Chinook is probably... Right, so the last typhoons are coming back. Uh, from Coningsby, Apollo flight. Um, so my guess is once they're done, I reckon about 1700. Let me check something. Because my guess is the fact that that's why it's gone to Lake and Eve, because Coningsby's closing before it departs. So it'll be any time after that. Let's have a look. Let me check the NOTAMs for Coningsby. So Coningsby's opening times for today Oh, that's next week. Oh, mind you saying that, they are quite late. You know, actually, yeah. In fairness, Coningsby's um, here till late. What will be 15th today? Or 16th? Either way. Um, yep, 16th. So they, they shut at 18.15, so that's... Uh, they're interesting. Mm -hmm. Right, what I might do is... Because I'm expecting that rain to come here soon. What I might do, I'll just get the cover on now. I might say no to the head cam now, actually. I might put that to bed, save it for tomorrow, because we've got quick climb Friday tomorrow. I'd like to get the head cam in there, because it's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. Yeah, let's get, let's get all prepared, shall we? Let's put that on.
Yeah, might as well get this ready and then uh, be it. Go. Right, that should be okay. Okay, that's sweet. Just relying on my gut instinct about that.
Right. I'm back. Whew. How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. Wow, thank you for joining us in the dark. We're at Mordor right now, I think. <laughs> this is, uh... Just brighten up a little bit, eh? There we go. So. good so uh, again nothing on that chinook just yet uh unfortunately just gotta wait and hope hopefully it does come D you know one of our uh things that we don't want is that it's gone tech that would be emotional <laughs> that would be pretty bad how are we doing ladies and teddy bears thanks for joining in and tuning in ted connor's b channel live here at mordor it does look a bit like mordor now doesn't it look at it Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we just need that Chinook to depart and then we're all good to go. Once it's departed, it's all game on. It's all tracer time. Can't wait for it. Just so uh, enjoy the show and uh, let's hope for a good one. Yeah, I've put away the TED cam due to the rain. The last thing I want to do is start trying to, you know, juggle a TED cam while it's raining and stuff because it's apparently going to rain a little bit, but we'll see. Still got, got, I've got a two hour, right, half, so four, five, six, okay, come on. Let's just hope it's not late, late. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Thanks for thanks for staying with us. It's been it's been a good show so far. Uh, very interesting with the typhoons, dry strafing, or just the one though. To be honest, there were two. One was uh, high up, and one entered the range to do some dry strafing out of the uh, the very low cloud base. Chris Blocks, how are you doing? Very good afternoon to you, Marnie. How's it going? Synchro tones, how are you doing? Catherine Burkett, Meth. How are you all doing? David Hardy, hope you're all good. Is that Gollum peeking from behind the... <laughs> Gollum, yeah, man. Gosh, that's it. This is more... It's looking like Mordor now. Yep, Rebecca RF Mordor is truly here. It's going to look like Mordor in a bit. Oh man, it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Just doing my uh, just doing my final checks, getting prepared for the rain. It should be all good. Kit covered, 
Um, how's the, but luckily it's not windy, so that's 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 one of the things with uh, when you start getting horizontal rain. That is, yeah, you can imagine it's not good. It's beautiful out here, though. I do love it here. If it was one place I was going to move, apart from Dartmoor, because that's when I that's Dartmoor is my my dream place. That's my holiday destination all the time. I love Dartmoor. Returning back finally next year. Um, but here would be my next choice to live. I love it here. It's an awesome. Got the peace and the aircraft. <laughs> I shall save my last cup of tea for the year. Uh... Come on, where are you? Kylo Bear, how you doing? Kylo Bear, I told my sisters about this channel. One is turning two next one day. The 20th, my niece is turning two. Jan 20th, and my other sister has one three and six year old. Nice one, thank you very much. Is that the red eye of Sauron? Yeah, that's Sauron. Actually, no, that's not the red eye of Sauron. The red eye of Sauron. There it is. That's Sauron. The Eye of Sauron. Modora Rohan. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Come on, where's the Chinook? Raven, hope you're all good. All the best with that. Just a quick hello. With CAT scans and MRI now on to chemo. Oh, well, happy recovery. Very strong. Um, you know, get well soon and uh, very strong recovery to you. Sound like geese. A gaggle of geese. Sauron. <laughs> I can't help that now. That's it now. It's stuck. Oh man. <laughs> Tedagon. <laughs> and then you've got the mines and. Oh man. <laughs> and you've got Gollum coming out in a minute, I think. Schmiegel. <laughs> oh dear. T 
Tim Gooch. Yeah, I'll meet at the Prance. It was, there's one called the Rising Sun back there. That, that's, that's definitely got, that's got Lord of the Rings all over it, that has. You know what I mean? The Rising Sun. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Da -da 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 -da. Well. <sighs> Come on, Chinook. Oh, God, I hope it does turn up as well. Goodness me, come on. Still nothing from Lake Eneef. But it was late when it departed Lake Eneef the other day, if you remember. It was about five, half five. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we should be at the uh, 06 end tomorrow. That's our plan uh, tomorrow. Um, if it's... Uh, Yep, if they're using 2-4 we will be. <laughs> Frank Rock, you have me cracking up with the Lord of the Rings remarks. My postal customers must think I'm laughing at myself delivering the mail. That's amazing. Thanks, man. My precious, yes. Smeagol. Yes, gotta take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> ah, this is it, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. We're at RAF Mordor. If you just tuned in, this is the Lord of the Rings special. And uh, it's a place to bring your ring. To bring it here to bind them all. <laughs> One Ted. Yeah, it's the place to bring your Teds. One Ted to bind them, one Ted to rule them all. There you go. Or whatever. What? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go with this. Lord of the Ring quotes. Not all those who wonder are lost, said Bilbo Baggins. He just you just reached uh, you just reached Mordor and then he got Aragorn. He was a legend. I like Aragorn. Deeds will not be less valiant because they are unpraised," said Aragorn. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future," said. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that's I thought that was Gandalf. It's 
Galadriel, don't know who that is. <laughs> Gimli. <laughs> Gimli and Gollum. Who is Gimli? Does anyone know? Who, which one was Gimli? Oh, I know. Gimli was the the little fella with the axe. The the beard the beard the dwarf man, I think, or something like that. Was that was that right? Was he a dwarf? Was that was that his official name? Gandalf, Lord of the Ring quotes. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. When in doubt, follow your nose. <laughs> oh, okay. You shall not pass, said Ted. Let's have a look. What else have we got there? Frodo and Bilbo. Mm -hmm. Why, she got in his pocket, Master. Yeah, gonna get to my precious. Um, Schmeagle on the ring. Yeah, if you just joined us, I'm not going absolutely bonkers. It's uh, yeah, it's just, just late and just waiting for a Chinook. You know, it is. it's what happens when you wait for a Chinook. And uh, I've just reached Mordor and I've got the ring. And Ted and I have got to get to Mordor without the fellowship. Well, you know, the fellowship are here, you know. <laughs> yes. Rico wants to hit master. Yeah. <laughs> Still no Chinook. Oh dear. I hope it hasn't gone tech. That would be emotional. That'd be like that'd be the worst luck ever that. Well we've had fun. Maybe they've come to tell me it's not coming. So we're just waiting and waiting for this Chinook. Come on. Off you go. Anyone at Lake and Eve? Drop us a line.
because I've still got two hours. Let's have a look what the battery's saying. Right, that's, that's still on. That's fine. Um, let me do a quick change, battery change. Yeah, let's, I'm just going to put a quick TCS advert, I'll just change the battery there and all. Hi guys, I'm Nikos from the Ted Coningsby crew! Oh yeah! We want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, as far as Lozzy Mouth, and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centers, and special flights for Ted too. We could not do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. So we have an exclusive membership so that you can join the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We have one level of membership so that every one of you can enjoy it and that no one is left behind. We have exclusive perks for our members too to enjoy, such as members only videos, which include deleted scenes, music videos, behind the scenes footage and more. Members can take part in members only polls, there will also be discounts for our members too on our merchandise and you'll also get your own emojis and special member badges next to your name too. All you have to do is click the join button and all this for just £1.99 a month. Your membership will help fund our channel to get us around the country. And for this, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has joined. How are we doing, Lady Shanty Teddy Bears? Oh, it's yeah. dark now, isn't it? Look at this, complete darkness pretty much. You remember it? Uh, there we go. Let's see if I can just add a bit more light to that. Everything feels wet because it's so cold. Uh, but that's cool. There we go, we'll just... Uh, Give you a bit more light to work on. There we go. But yep, no news yet um, on the Chinook. Just hoping it's not a seven o'clocker. That would be gutting. Um, but hey, let's have a look.
So for those that are just tuned in, we are waiting for a Chinook to depart from Lake and Eve to revisit Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, where we hope to see beautiful tracers being fired at targets. We're just waiting for that sign that it's departed. Got it constantly on ADSB, just nothing at the moment. So yeah, just look for Lake and Eve and uh, just uh, get it to depart. Anyone at Lake and Eve watching this stream, let us know what the Chinook's doing. I know, man, you're right. Uh, yeah, just looking up the mentor, the floor, the wall. Oh, bless you. you. I went in my van for a little bit. Alright. Yeah. You, you knew what time it was coming back, didn't you? Uh, no, I'm hoping now. Sorry? He thought of that. He should have shouted me. I didn't know whether he'd send over the radio. Ah. I can't hear his. I can only hear the uh, cab radio when I'm up, up in the tower. Oh, right. The rest of the time, I don't hear it. So when you said, oh, they'd already sent me a message saying he's going to land on the car park, let you know. Yeah. So I was like, are you in contact with um, TC? Let him know that they're landing on the car park. And then I went to open it up, <laughs> and you sent me a message about something so spooky. Oh. Spooky, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully he's going to leave Lake and Eve soon. Yeah. Well, you'll probably know when he leaves Lake and Eve before we do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he's definitely doing for a night shoot, so... Sure, cool. Nice one, thanks man. Alright, See you soon. Legend.
Oh wow, so I just got a, a lovely message from a sergeant. Um, just give me a sec, wow that, that's really touching. Ted Coningsby channel helping other people you know I get this a lot I get so many people message me saying how the channel has helped and given given them courage and I've got a sergeant here wow Wow, sorry about that. I get this, like I said, I get this so many times um, where we get real life stories emailed or, or written to us. It's just absolutely amazing, or wrote to us, sorry. Wow, that was quite touching. Um, in a nutshell, just had someone who, who was a sergeant in the cadets uh, um, have a loss of their best friend and uh, they watch our channels they, they watched their they both watched our channel but sadly the friend passed away uh, and um, the last wishes I think was to have something flown and uh, they fl um, the, the sergeant basically gave the typhoon display team something to fly and they did, they actually flew it. So, and it was thanks to us. So I just, I, do, I, I have to be careful how I say it, because obviously I, I need to keep, you know, some things private, but it, just in a nutshell, um, the team, wow. I didn't, I, it, sorry, it, it was quite powerful, that message. I was just reading it. I thought I'll have a quick, quick read. Cause, um, and I've just seen it and I was like, wow, I don't really wanna, cause I get so busy. Sometimes I, I don't get to see it for a few days. Um, but that had to be read and that was just wonderful. How are we doing ladies, gents, teddy bears? I hope you're still with us. No sign of the Chinook, man. Oh dear. I just hope it comes in time before we get soaked because this is not going to be good. <laughs> nice to see you having some fun on the on the uh, on the chat rooms there now. It's really cool. Nice one. De -de 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 -de. That actually gave me an invite to chill out <laughs> in the uh, in the quadrants. That's brilliant. They are very friendly. Here. They, uh, they are good here. Come on.
Is it? Is it on? Thanks, Chris. Is it on there? Are we on? It is. Yep. There. <laughs> Finally, it's gone. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I was about to, like, lose faith there, man. Come on. Finally. So Vortex 486. Has departed. Yeah, absolutely, Trespar. Yeah, I mean, just, just to give you an idea, so, so I've got Brighty messaging me as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, basically, I had a message from a, a cadet sergeant in the Royal Air Force, right? And they had a cadet sergeant pass away with a, a, a rare form of, of cancer, a brain tumour. And... The sergeant messaged me to say thank you for keeping me entertained with your live streams. And he's introduced himself as a cadet sergeant in the Royal Air Force. And um, since the death of a cadet sergeant from last year, um, the order of service uh, ha um, has been taken to most events, including Riyadh as this is like having him with him because they were they were like best friends and at Riyadh uh, the gentleman the sergeant that messaged me today said they met with some of the Typhoon display team engineers and asked if the order of service could have a flight as this was his dream uh, which they said yes to and, it, and, and the sergeant has said to me just now it said if it hadn't have been for you and Ted, I wouldn't have asked if he could have a flight in the Typhoon. Many thanks and keep up the good work. Big shout out to everyone for that. For my Ted Coningsby fans, that that's the power of Ted right there. That is how we do it. Because it gives it people courage in a very passive way as well to give them that opportunity, to give them that inspiration to do that. That is just, I'm just, uh, honestly, that got me that. So. The, uh, so yeah, uh, Lady Shins Teddy Bears, a Chinook inbound very shortly. Now, there's hardly any wind, uh, so this is going to sound very good. I have, unfortunately, taken away the Ted Cam, because like I said, in the dark, in the rain, fighting all sorts. I sadly, what well, good thing about tracers, I can trace them and I can zoom in. I can do a little bit of both, so we'll see. See what I've got for you. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I heard an owl. <laughs> right, <sighs> ladies, gents, and teddy bears, I hope we're all good. Chris Bloxham. Thank you very much, everyone. Salute to all of you. Um, Chinook inbound. It's going to sound great. Yeah, it's going to sound great. Come on. Not long to go now, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Our gear. Alright, tell you what, ladies and steady bears, let's get sharing. I'm going to share the uh, stream right now again. Oh, yes. Just to let people know there's a Chinook coming.
Right, just going to share this out. It's got to be done, isn't it? There we go. Good evening, continuing bound range call, QFE 1013. Oh, yes. Did you hear that? Here comes the rain as well, just to... That's fine, we can do that. I've got my brolly actually as well, so that's pretty cool. I might be able to... Right, I might do this in a very different way. Right, I'm going to experiment, hang on. Well, I might have to do this in a very different way, one-handed with a brolly I think I think that's what I'm gonna to do tonight hope it's gonna be all right I can hear it as well from a long way yes look at the cloud over there well cool Waka Waka time now. Listen to this. Can you hear that? <laughs> Get ready. Listen to it. Who's excited? Who's loving? Oh my god, I can't believe how quiet it is, honestly. Well, takes Hall Beach. It'll be the helipad tonight because they finished the work on there now. Sweet. <laughs> I believe that's it over there. Hang on. I 
I'm all good, thank you. Uh, that you know, things, messages like that, they really hit home because I get a lot of messages like this. You know, um, thanks everyone, Margot. Thank you, and um, all those that gave me a message just now to say if I'm all right. Because it, it does. It's like, you know, I came along to this channel to, you know, I didn't realise I'd have that much impact on people's lives. I'm so proud of that. I'm just like everyone else. I am a human being. I do have feelings and it you know and it's um I mean you know I just wow I don't, I'm lost for words sometimes it's it's just amazing I'm all right though don't worry okay so if that's that there so I'm trying to work I'm trying to find the Chinook See, I think that's it there. Hobby, four, six, four, eight, six, on the right. Yeah, it is. Four, six, four, eight, six, Hobby trains. Good evening, join range cold. QFE one zero one three. Drive one zero one three cold. Four, six, four, eight, six. So, what we expect to see? A lot of tracers. Come on. Jeff Grill, hello from Washington, how you doing? Andrew Porter, how you doing? Mayhem, Marshy, oi oi. Synchro Tones, Davey, Trespire, William, Chris Bloxham, Luke Foxall, get ready for this. Mayhem, Marshy, Margot Baxter, hope you're good, Davey. Rebecca, Synchro Tones, how are you all doing? Get ready for this. It's waka waka time, and we got traces coming, here we go. That's how we do it. The silence before the storm. Listen, it's going to sound amazing. There is no wind at the moment. There will be. Get ready, Marnie. Brace yourselves, Meth. Get ready.
Oh no. <laughs> we nearly had a fail there. <laughs> Yeah, nearly had the umbrella go off to the range. Oh dear, that could have been emotional. Yeah, that's definitely causing a bit of turbulence, that is. Here we go. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the fireworks. Here we go.
Right, I'm just going to do a little bit of experiment in here with the uh, with things. All right, let's have a look, see how we're going to go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Things are going to get a little bit hot. I hear people. Enjoy the sounds. literally gonna fire at will now it's been cleared hot
yes. Oops. So, uh, obviously, a jam in the weapon in one of the guns. The difference is with between this and something that's integrated, like, say, for example, the uh, cannon on a jet, then uh, that has to go back. Whereas a Chinook, because they are mounted on, they can, and with the gunner there, they can actually rectify the problem. <laughs> awesome traces, right?
Ted Coningsby channeled live here at RAF Hull Beach. Our weapons range Chinook from RAF Odium. Using live rounds. 7.62s. From two miniguns. One M134s and M60. An M60D on the back. Oh, look at this. Thank you. 
awesome. Oh, hello. Sweet. <laughs> oh man. You can see the beautiful red red lights all the way down there. Is that I'm not sure if that's the range boundary or uh or the windmill farm out there. The wind farm. Anyway. Looks good. Destroyed. God. The delay of the sound and light is phenomenal, isn't it? Ted Connorsby channel live here at RAF Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Welcome, how you doing? Hope you how you feeling well. And uh, you're hearing the sounds of the Chinook from RAF Odium. Vortex 486, the call sign. Look at this! You can actually hear the impact as well, very faintly. Amazing.
Did you hear that impact then? The impact noise, that, oh, it's so cool. It's quite rare to hear that because the wind has to be like literally non-existent. Wow. Stoppage. Hope you're enjoying it, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let me just get my other glove on. Hang on. My hand is frozen. <laughs>
that's the sound of the uh, M60D again another 762 it's got that sort of different pitch to it beautiful sounds like it's got a like a slower rate as well but by no means has a punch to it the miniguns have got something silly like thousand uh, I think Chris Bloxham might know the answer to that how many uh, rounds per minute the M134 is it something it's, I think it's is it something like 4,000 rounds is it maybe six I'm sure it's something silly Shots.
hasn't called a stoppage or anything, not sure what's going on. Amazing sounds, man. Even the wildlife, pretty cool. I hope you can hear the impact shot as well actually, the sound of the impact, it's amazing.
and what a sound. Yes, get in. That was such a good guess in the dark, man. <laughs>
beautiful. <laughs>
Hope you're all enjoying the stream, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Oh, yeah. What a nice variety we've given you this week. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Should be coming up to the end of the uh, sortie now for Vortex 486. Potentially another couple of rounds. I think the armourers have come out. So, yeah. So yeah, as soon as the uh, Chinook requests the land, that'll be it for the night. And I, oh, hello. <laughs> and I just really hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you all enjoyed it. It's been absolutely brilliant. Been long, but good. You know how it is. Been a long stream, but it's been absolutely brilliant. Certainly enjoyed the variety this, this week. And we've still got one more stream to go for the week. And we end with our world famous Quick Climb Friday. Oh yeah, the weather's supposed to look good. Look at this.
how we all doing ladies gents and teddy bears hope you all enjoyed it it's coming up to the end of the stream i believe should be maybe another three more goes and i think that's it let's have a look and uh, we'll be catching you bright and early tomorrow for quick line friday ted Connorsby channel you know how we do it oh yeah Sounds like it's got a few more rounds to go yet. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> that is such a lovely, distinctive sound of the uh, Chinook. Also known as a Waka Waka. Wow, 7,500 rounds. Well, that's it then, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We are complete. Okay, so that's me done then, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. That's Ted and I, we're all done. It's been a fantastic show. Just a quick shout out to, let's have a look. Um, Roger, Anthony Lowe, epic stream again. Enjoyed every minute. Thank you very much. Margot Baxter for Ted's Fuel for next week. Thank you very much. Rebecca with a super chat. Rebecca with another uh, with a super sticker. Margot gifting Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you, 10 of them. LEJ Approach, thank you for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Chris Pearson, Paul Masterton, um, just catching up on all of you. Thank you very much. That is us done, ladies, shirts and teddy bears. So on behalf of all of us, thank you so much. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, that's us done then. So thank you very much. We're about to end the stream now, ladies, shins and teddy bears. That's the Chinook lands. That is us done for the night, ladies, shins and teddy bears. As our squadron leader, just want to say thank you very much for that. Thank you so much, everyone. And we'll see you in the morning. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Wish you well. See ya.
Yeah, yeah.